Of course, the countdown had to trip at the final second, didn't it? <laughs> well, no, anyway, uh, I'm... I think I'm ready. That's not what you should say to start the stream, is it? But hey, uh, I'm only saying that because it was all working perfectly and then everything started getting a bit sluggish. So I don't know if that's uh, to do with the updates that I downloaded. Um, because this week, unlike last Tuesday, I have remembered not to fall into that trap of assuming all the games will just be magically there to play. Because, uh, yeah, last week I thought, ah, it'll be fine. And then Apex Legends, the game I planned to play, uh, needed gigabytes of updates. I thought, oh, well, never mind. Opportunity presents itself. Let's play Destiny 2. I've never played that. I guess that that's perfectly suitable to try out Tuesday. Um, that needed, I think it was about 90 gigabytes of updates. And uh, it came up and it said, uh, we'll be ready to play in 15 days. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> I don't think... I wasn't going to stay on stream constantly for 15 days, put it that way. Uh, so I found AimLab and did okay at AimLab, actually. Um, but then I played a game I've never played before on there called... What was it? Uh, Sphere Tracker. And that broke my brain for some reason. I still haven't got to the bottom of what, what was going on there. But it... Oh, it really... I don't know. I don't know what it was about trying to do that, but it really went through me. And that, that's a bad sign because all it was asking me to do was keep track of a target um and that's kind of a skill i need <laughs> for these games uh you know i'm playing apex legends are loads of other people playing apex legends yes are loads of other people new to apex legends yes partly because they've never seen it before and partly because it's a new season season six is here it's been here for a, over a week but um well maybe a fortnight now i don't know but this is the first chance I've had to actually play it. The difference between me and all of those other people is that before I started on Twitch, and I've only been on Twitch a few months, before I started on Twitch, the, the, the last, I should say, the last FPS game uh, that I played was at least, possibly longer than, a decade ago. Yeah. Th th times have changed since then. Things have moved on quite a lot. I'm having to learn to use different keys. You're probably getting tired of hearing me say this if you've heard me say it before. I'm, I'm, I'm apologising now. But if you haven't, I have always been used to playing with arrow keys. Up, down, left, right. You know, you, you use your little finger for the control to do crouching. You use your... You move your little finger up to shift, maybe to jump or enter or whatever. You know, that, that's how it used to be. And maybe there were other buttons, but you just never really bothered with them. Mouse to aim and shoot, and, and, and that was fine. And uh, scroll wheel, of course, to change weapons. Um, maybe you'd use the numpad if you're feeling adventurous. But all these other controls, there is no point in even trying to play with the arrow keys now, it seems like, because you need access to the keys that are near them, uh, near the movement keys. So it has to be WASD, which is what pretty much everybody is used to, but I'm not. So, my handicaps are oh, WASD. I'm not a WASD gamer. Um, and then having to get used to all these other controls. And I think the main one really for games like this, especially when you read the, uh, the stuff at the start, it says, you know, you, you must agree to be a good team member and help your team out. Now, uh, luckily, my team leader last time, very uh, experienced player and um, was really helpful and uh, as I said last time I played Apex Legends I actually played it off stream um, I feel like I had a proper game out of it because uh, I do get frustrated a little bit with Hyperscape and uh, lots of good things about Hyperscape uh, I'm chuffed that I got to be one of one of thousands of people who tried it out when it came out for the tech test, but it made me feel a bit sort of, oh, I'm getting to try something new. I'm starting off on Twitch, and I'm getting to try brand new games that aren't even out properly yet. Uh, only for a day or two, because, uh, you know, I was quite late in the day getting it all. But, yeah, that, that was cool. Uh, but what's less cool is just that, well, one, I'm rubbish at it, but two, I, I, <laughs> I just, I'll still play it, but I don't feel like I'm getting a game out of it. I'm, as I said before, I'm wandering around for a bit. I think I'm getting somewhere, and I think, right, come on, this will be the one. I've managed to collect lots of things now. I've got lots in my arsenal. We're going to do this. And then it's just... <laughs> eliminated. And I'm, I'm thinking, right. Or sometimes it's, right, I finally lined somebody up. 
All right. And then there's somebody standing above my head and I haven't seen them because I'm daft and useless and rubbish at these games. I've got 10 years of catching up to do. Give me a break. But yeah, there's literally someone standing there going, <laughs> you know. So I don't know if they're laughing, but you know. I'm laughing at myself as well, but it's just like, oh, come on, this is this is rubbish. So Apex Legends, the last time I played it, I had a chance, uh, I was playing it offline, so there's no well, there's no footage of that, unfortunately, um, but I actually feel like I got a game. I was still rubbish when it came to it. Uh, my aim was shocking. That's why I'm glad that games like Aim Lab are available. And if you don't know about Aim Lab, Aim Lab is totally free. I'm not selling it, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not getting any commission. Um, Aim Lab is a game that I wish was around a decade ago when I really needed to train up and get good outside of the game. Because, um, yeah, my aim is probably always going to be shocking, but I can at least aim <laughs> for it to be less shocking. But, yeah, when push came to shove, in the heat of the moment, wasn't very good at the, the main sort of crux of the game, which is eliminating the enemy teams. However... I rescued a teammate of mine twice and helped the team out and you know so I, I did feel like I made a contribution I was rubbish I was definitely the weak member of the party but I did make an actual genuine proper contribution so I, I think I should be happy with that um, ooh. that's because I pressed the wrong button um, Excuse me. A bit of drink went down the wrong way again. This is just squash. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I I ended up pressing the button that took me into, well, this mode. And I could keep pressing that forever. It's just going to keep putting me into, into that mode. So we want to be in that mode. Sorry if it's a bit stuttery. It looked a bit stuttery on my preview then. I'm not quite sure why that is. Season 5 didn't do that. So whether it's something about Season 6 or whether it's something about the way I've started my computer today, I don't know. Um, but do let me know if it's too stuttery and I'll see if I can do something about it. I have dropped the graphic settings. Um, welcome to my new followers as well. It's it's skyrocketed um, compared to... You know, well, okay. It's a steady increase. I shouldn't say skyrocketed because I'm, I'm specifically avoiding uh, being in a rush to hit any targets. But we're over the 50 threshold and uh, that's something that lots of people try to accelerate towards. I've just moseyed on about doing my own thing, um, having some fun with it, learning as I go along, and yeah, it's 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 nice to be here. But don't worry, it's, I'm, I'm not going to let it go to my head. Um, yeah, I can't let it go to my head anyway. Cause I, uh, basically, if you if you if you're new to Twitch like me, oh, it's gone down. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think we established as well in a previous uh, stream that. There's bots as well following me. There are a couple of bots. Hopefully, we'll iron them out. Uh, so actually, I've discovered that the numbers go up and down uh, by around two. So, oh, excuse me. So I, I don't mind. I don't mind that. Obviously, if you know, if you, if there's some, there's this phenomenon of people unfollowing to make room in their list. That's fine. I, 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 I'm not offended. Um, but. Yeah, the, the noise is about plus minus two. So that's why, that's another reason why I didn't announce the 50 as being a big thing. Because I thought, I know it's going to go down to 49. Do you know what? It did. <laughs> but then it went back up to 51. Then it went back down to 50. Uh, then it was 54 for a brief second there. You might have seen. And now it's back down to 53. So it's it, these bots seem to reset themselves. So uh, yeah, two fellow streamers don't get disheartened if it's going up and then... Uh, because it's probably a bot resetting itself. Um, but yeah, welcome to my new followers who've, uh, who are not bots and who've stuck around. And uh, whilst I know people say backseat gaming is normally frowned upon, uh, as in trying to tell the streamer how to play the game, yeah, I'm I'm generally with that philosophy. It's it, it depends if you if you're giving helpful hints and tips, that's fine. Um, making people feel a bit dumb isn't, isn't really fine but in this case you are allowed to treat me as such for now because i don't know what i'm doing uh, <laughs> i mean I'm, I'm furiously hitting keys and just going was it that button was it that button was it that button i think it was that button so honestly in this case and uh, 
I won't say this case only, but uh, on Tryout Tuesday more than any other day, I am happier with um, so-called backseat gaming because it will actually help me because uh, I may genuinely be stuck for the right key to press. Um, but yeah, things are things are going a little bit sluggish. So maybe let's turn the background music off. That's going to throw me later because if I want to drop the music in, it won't be there. The idea I had was that I've got a little bit of a hybrid of my radio setup and my uh, new studio, if you like, uh, setup going on. And so I've got music uh, that I wanted to run continuously while I was playing the game so I could just switch to it by turning up a couple of faders. But for some reason, yeah, it's just just really sluggish today. So we're going to have to turn that off. Yeah, that's improved the game performance. Still not great, but it's better than it was. And the stream seems to be steady, so that's that's another thing that, that I've discovered happens. Uh, I'm only on ADSL, so uh, by some measures, the fact I'm streaming at all is uh, is nothing short of a miracle. Uh, but uh, I've got lots of hints and tips. I can, I can recommend uh, Gal Label on uh, YouTube, and uh, you know it was his video uh, I found when I was getting frustrated about about streaming. And he said, "Just drop the resolution." That's what I had to do. I I, I you know don't let being only on ADSL and not having the latest fibre broadband put you off doing it. You just need to make some compromises. So, we are on a fairly low bandwidth, but it's stable for the moment. But as, I, as I've uh, seen happen on previous streams, um, sometimes what you'll get is it'll randomly stop at around about the one and a half hour mark or the two hour mark. So if that happens, weirdly, the audio comes through absolutely fine. So I'll keep talking and keep letting you know that uh, that I am still online. But um, what I found is that, yeah, um, the video just grinds to a halt. So you might see the little camera symbol with the cross through it saying, I'm not here, except you'll also hear me talking saying, I'm here. I am very much here. I'm still here. Um, and yeah, the first time I played this, I couldn't even work this menu out. So I was clicking up here. I was going, come on, play. Play, play, play! <laughs> um, that's the play menu, as in, you can see, there's all these menus. The actual button to play the game is, is, is down here. I was clicking, whoop, where is it? Uh, up there. So <laughs> right then, shall I play trios then, do you think? Daily challenges, am I going to hit any of those? Well, I, I can certainly play two games. That That is achievable. Get eight knockdowns. No, I don't think so. I don't know what caustic is. I'll learn, I guess. Uh, deal. To, well, I know what the word means. I don't know what it means in this context. Uh, that's on the right-hand side of my screen if you can't see it. Because, again, the downside of the lower bandwidth is I know this is a slightly lower resolution. So, again, please feel free to shout out in chat if there's something I'm talking about and you can't see what on earth it is because some of the text... I have to imagine I'm broadcasting on a 14-inch portable telly or something. Um, some of the text is still pretty small, having said that, on, on my screen. But uh, you're seeing it at what's 480p compared to 1080p. Uh, Four-tenths of the resolution, roughly, off the top of my head. Um, okay. So this is a limited time mode. Shall I play it? I don't know what it is for a bit of fun and it is tryout Tuesday so actually even though I've played Apex Legends before this will be a genuine tryout Tuesday because I don't know what this is I, I don't know what's going to go on I presume it's, it's, you know, it's the I say crash test dummies but uh, the Apex test dummies um, could be fun as I always say when I'm about to do stuff like this um it could be hilarious, it could be terrible, it could be an even mixture of the two. Could even be a mixture of the two. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I haven't thought of a question of the day today. I'm part of a Discord group, as are a few of us, called Twitch Beans. Can recommend it. So if you go to UK Twitch Streamers on Facebook <coughs> and uh, have a look at that. Uh, the official Discord group that's linked to that. I'm quite new to Discord myself. I'm as new to Discord as I am to Twitch. Uh, so again, don't worry if you're looking at me thinking, I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what all these things are. I didn't about a month or two ago. 
I don't have a clue. Uh, Discord is a bit of a modern fusion of uh, IRC, if you were ever on that, Internet Relay Chat, um, Yahoo Chat, and all that. I, I mentioned Yahoo Chat just because that was the main one I was on. Um, first one to have voice chat as well. Uh, so back in the days of dial-up and the you know, talking to people across the world. Uh, when Well, when talking to people across the world had some magic to it, whereas, you know, because it would have cost you several pounds a minute to do it on a, on a traditional phone, and uh, pence a minute if you're on dial-up on the internet. Now, of course, we just take it for granted, I know, but, um, yeah, uh, so it's a bit of a fusion of that with some modern twists, is how I interpret it. I don't know if that's how they're selling it, but that's how, that's how I interpret it as a newcomer coming into it. It's got lots of text channels, you can have audio channels. It's very much like Yahoo Chat, actually, thinking about it. Looks nothing like it, but in, in essence, it, it's got similarities. And there's video chat in there as well, and you can post links and pictures, and you know, obviously those things were more limited when uh, it all started up. But uh, yeah, Twitch Beans on Discord, and I've got my own Discord as well, that's below. Uh, it's fairly new, so... It, it, treat it very much as an upstart, uh, as in, you know, <laughs> when you join, uh, say hello, and uh, and there's only, like, well, at the moment, there's... <laughs> How many people have we got? Ooh, we're going into game, I should check. Uh, I should not have my eye on Discord, I should have my eye on the game. Uh, so we've got four people online in there at the moment, but it's growing. Just, it's just small, right? Everyone's got to start somewhere. Um... Twitch Beans is a bit bigger. All oh, right, I get to choose a dummy. Let's go for that one then. I'm going to mute the squad only because uh, I haven't managed to get evolve onto a voice chat yet. There's so much else going on for me to take on board and get good at. I'm not going to add voice chat into the mix. And also the usual cautionary tales about voice chat that you don't know what you're going to get. Um, I don't swear a lot, as you might have noticed. Um, not necessarily against it per se, but if somebody's very foul-mouthed, I'm not going to like it very much. Um, <laughs> just randomly says something really insulting over voice chat, so... Uh, yeah, it's a little bit sluggish today. But hopefully still perfectly watchable. Well, I'm following the jump master. Okay. There's one thing I've learned, it's follow your team. <laughs> from Hyperscape to whenever I've broken off from the team by accident, actually, as it turned out. Uh, disaster. <laughs> Complete disaster. Okay. Right, we're in. Uh, no, it's not F. It's E. Okay, well, we've started off with some... Where's oh, my team gone? <laughs> See what I mean? I was playing at F, because F is the pickup button in Hyperscape. Oh, God. Right, so they've marked out the enemies for me, and I'm not helping them, because I'm nowhere near... Is that an enemy? Yes! I got... I did something! I actually did something! Pick up their stuff. Oh, wow. Better already. Yeah, you deserved that one. Given that that was your, uh, your skill. But glad I could help. Oh my gosh, I helped somebody. I shouldn't have done that, should I? And this is the charge rifle. Oh, there's a VOD. There's a VOD below of me reacting to the first time I ever saw this. <laughs> and it was. Oh, I'm chuffed. That, I'm, just, I'm just chuffed that I captured that. I hope. I hope it is because I'm recording this and streaming it. So even though I'm streaming at a lower resolution, I should have that captured. Oh, I, I, I'm chuffed of that. Just because that, that's all I wanted in Hyperscape. Just one, just one. You know, one win that I had. Not a win of the whole game, but one win that I'd actually achieved myself. Oh, I got, I got that already. So I'm, I'm good. Somebody's pinged down there. Are we going down there? 
Are we gonna go? Are we gonna? Are we gonna join? Are we gonna join the other guy who's that? Okay. Okay. Fair enough. You knew the way out. I didn't. Um, I was just guessing. Okay. Okay. What are we doing? I also, also, this is a bit daft, really. I'm, I'm talking to my team after saying I'm not going to do voice chat yet. So, so who exactly am I talking to? Uh, ooh, I can't, I can't change it, but I'll get those. Hmm. Okay, remember R for reload. That's what I always keep doing. Is like, in the panic of it, I'm like, fire, 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 and uh, forgetting that. I, I needed to reload very much. Right, that'll do me. I would maybe notify... I had a... Like, last time, they were notifying me of loads of stuff, so I did the same, basically. Notified people as well. Tried my best. I've forgotten what the notify thing is. Oh, no, a middle mouse button, isn't it, I think? Oh, hey. What's this mean? Does this mean somebody was coming that way? Just don't know why they closed that door. I presumed it was for a reason, but uh, apparently not. Oh, this looks fun. Going up here? Oh no, this caught me out before as well. Right, where's my team gone? Oh, <laughs> there's one! Ooh, cool. Uh oh. I don't know much, but that didn't seem good. I think that's like a locator thing, is it? I've got lots of shields. Oh! Oh, my charge rifle's gone. But, never mind. I held it down too long, I think, that's why. Care package being delivered. Of course, the problem with the charge rifle is it's a lot slower. Packs a punch. But, seeing as my problem is generally aiming, <laughs> even though I've got that. Hmm. What's this? Drop ship. What am I supposed to do? What's that? <laughs> what okay, fine. I, I don't I don't know. Tell me chat, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> okay, we've got there, right, fine. Before the ring closes. Yeah, last time I didn't know what ring closing meant. No clue. Oh, somebody there. Yes! Come on! I think I found my strength. I'm staying behind, but I am not... ...hiding. This is strategic. Yeah! Something must have happened overnight. I've obviously... ...slept on this. Studied in my head. And where'd they go? 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 Oh yeah, not assumed I had to change mode as well, that might have helped. Where'd they gone? They're gone. They're gonna come out on the left, aren't they? No, they're left. Damn. I got stuck in grenade last time. Literally didn't even know how to get out of it. Oh 
I've done I've done a lot better, a lot better at this game than I've ever done. So that's that's worth something to me. So progress. Any progress is good, right? Not about uh, how good you are, it's about how much progress you've made, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> trying to apply teaching mottos to... Uh... Oh, I need to really get in there. I don't know. I'm zooming down here. How on earth did I get in there? Sealed. Oh, man. Can you maybe show me how to get in there? All oh, right, okay, fine. Enemy where? Oh, crumbs. I can hear them, I can't, I can't even see them. Where are they? Is there stairs in here that I don't know about? I got a feeling I'm about to come a copper. Ah, I see. Sorry, took me ages to work that out. Oh, now I'm above them. Great. And I'm right by respawn beacon. Just not going to do me good because somebody. Yay! I made it back! Guys, I'm here! <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing now. Right, med kits are good. Let's do lots of med kits. Uh, whoa, what's going on? What was that sound? <laughs> Emergency dance party. <laughs> oh, that's fab. I love that. I don't know how to activate it, but it's cool. That's very... Uh, uh, that's uh, very original Total Recall, that. I'm, I'm sure they do it in the new one as well. Or do they? There's some bits they left out of the new Total Recall. Um, I'm not sure if that is one of the bits. How do I... All right, wait for me. Wait for me. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, the whole ring closing thing, yeah, there's there's a funny VOD of me just... I, I don't know if I did put it up as a VOD, actually. Uh, maybe I'll have to put it up as a YouTube then. Um, but I didn't know what it was, so I just saw this red wall approaching me, and I thought, oh, flip! I have to be... In, I thought it was like the zones in Hyperscape, but it was like the complete opposite, <laughs> in a way. I thought, I have to be inside that thing, so I ran towards it, didn't I? <laughs> you know, the thing that you had to get out of. I, I completely ran towards it, and then... <laughs> um, and then, <laughs> and then of course, it was meant to be the thing I was meant to be um, outside of, not inside of. So by the time I ran back, it was uh, it was losing me mass health points, and um, and it was just a disaster. It was a, an absolute disaster. And I was just basically losing points quicker than I could crawl to uh, <laughs> to catch up. And I was never going to catch up, is the answer, uh, with the red wall thing that, that got me. And I was like, please rescue me. But of course they couldn't, because they couldn't come back, could they? Because they'd have had to walk into the red wall. <laughs> what are we pinging? Right, okay, you were just pinging me to follow you. Well, I got it. If I sound like I'm talking to the team, like I, said, I haven't actually got push to talk enabled or, any, or anything, so I, I know would I, you know, that's that's just one too many buttons. Chapter what I've achieved so oh flipping heck. They've got one as well. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw the, I saw the, I saw the fire. Oh flip, grenades. Okay. Damn. 
Oh, I've got a health thing. Can I not do the health thing? Oh, okay. Cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. Oh, don't get yourself shot as well. Damn. I'm just trying to take some of the flak. Oh. Oh. See, I switched to the grenade. But look! Look at that! Look! Look at me in the middle! Look! I feel like I'm being unfair to all the other people, so let's 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 do that. Get some of their stats as well. You can just about see them all. Um Look! 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 I'm gonna get excited about this, sorry, it's just like, oh my gosh! Two! Not one! So, my first one, live on stream, sorry, my first one ever, caught live on stream, and there's two of them! Oh yeah. I've only been going for half hour, I could, I could end the stream there and be very happy. <laughs> uh, what's going on behind there? Are we, are we watching the game or I don't know? Next to the lobby then. Um, but yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not so useless after all. Again, n n okay, now that's starting to go to my head. Whereas I, I, I really am still rubbish, but I'm less rubbish than I was last time. Squad place number 6 out of 20. That's, that's not bad, actually. That makes that elimination feel a lot better. Because that means if we, if we were the... You know... In the last six teams out of 20, that's, uh, well, it's over half marks, isn't it? Stop with the teaching analogies. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, let's see all my stats. Show off all my stats. Level up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, time survived. Right, okay. All, all that stuff. I want, I want, it's the previous screen. I went to, but never mind. I wasn't quick enough. I am. I'm I'm well chuffed with that. This might not be a new thing to anybody else, but to me it's like that that was a huge deal. Okay, limited time. One uh, one hour fifty three. So this dummies level perhaps it's throwing people as well and giving me half a chance. Possibly. Because I don't know. Because maybe, maybe people are thrown by the appearance. And so, uh, so maybe that's, maybe that's advantageous to me. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, so how's everybody's uh, day going? It's 10.07pm uh, here in the UK at the moment. And uh, I know we've got, you know, Twitch it's, uh, in general has an international audience. So I was joining a stream earlier where... Uh, there were people just about to leave because it was four in the morning, and I think uh, I just started the day, so I wasn't going anywhere. Actually, I did have a question. I just can't remember what it was. What was that question? Come to me eventually. Um, maybe it was uh, something like... Uh, Well, okay, there we are. Let's let's make it about the theme of Tryout Tuesday then. Uh, the first FPS I played in a decade was Hyperscape. In at least a decade was Hyperscape. What uh, what game uh, or what type of game, what category of game have you played that you haven't played in ages? And it's either all coming back to you or making you feel very very novice indeed. What what game is that for you? What category of game is it? Is it FPSs? Is it uh, console sort of scrollers like I play on Thursday normally? Is it uh, strategy games, puzzle games? Um, I know I've been watching a lot of videos on uh, Retro Recipes, Perifractics Retro Recipes on YouTube, uh, where he has been uh, playing like things like Battle Chess for the Amiga and pitting it against uh, chess on, on iPads and things like that, you know. Uh, 
all this nostalgic just overload going on at the moment. So and it's great to see, it's great to watch, and great to be part of as well on Thursdays, where I, uh, Thursdays from nine thirty, where I am busting out via an emulator because uh, my uh, original consoles are still in the attic somewhere. Uh, but busting out some Game Boy games and Master System games. And, yeah. I should really call it not Thursday, not Throwback Thursday, but Nostalgia Overload. But that doesn't that doesn't alliterate, and uh, I do like my alliteration. I confess. It's taking a long time to matchmake, isn't it? What's going on? Yeah, I'm, I'm like this as well. What are we doing? Come on. I'm I, I'm on a high now, and I've, I'm like, oh. <laughs> just having to wait, and wait, and wait. Is this always how it is? Is this just an apex thing, or is it just because I'm at a low skill level and everybody else is towering above me? How am I at my daily challenges? Well, I've played one game, yes, I can count to two. Um, get eight knockdowns, and I got two out of eight. Yeah. I don't know what two games as caustic is still. I haven't, oh, oh, I see. Oh, right. Play two games as the character caustic. Right. And I've already hit that target of deal 250 damage. I don't know exactly how much 250 damage. I, you know, I work in Quake numbers. If you told me, like, 10 damage or 20 damage in Quake, I'd, I'd, I'd understand that. But 250 damage in Apex, not a clue. So, hmm. <coughs> I'm going through that squash very quickly. Yeah. Oh, I'm just so glad that was captured. I, I know I'm keeping on about it, but I'm, I am so glad. Because I honestly thought, look, <coughs> the reason you're not doing very well is because you're trying to stream and play at the same time. You need to learn one or the other. Um, and so I thought, I know what's going to happen. The first time I do anything momentous, anything Earth... Well, Okay, I won't say earth shattering, but uh, anything momentous and anything that's a milestone is probably going to end up being off stream because I can't concentrate. And today, it happened not once, but twice. Live. Actually live. Well chuffed. It might not show because I can be kind of, not monotone, but I can be kind of, you know, um, on a level about it, but uh, yeah. Bit of luck getting that charge rifle as well, I guess. I think I'm also I'm, I'm picking up on some of Minty's uh, energy. Uh, Minty, you may know from Minty's Gig Guide if you're... Um, well, if you've ever been to Wales or been to a gig in Wales, you may well have... They, they were printed at one point, Minty's Gig Guides. That uh, You could actually pick them up in, in theatres and information places in general. It, it was a brilliant time, that was. <coughs> and... Um, Oh, that was the map, because he was trying to put together a map of music venues in Swansea and Cardiff. Other cities are available, other towns are available, and uh, I'm sure North Wales, uh, North Wales people are saying to me right now, ah, Swansea and Cardiff again, he's talking about South Wales again, like South Wales is the only thing that exists in all of Wales. Well, yeah, I know, we do do that, sorry. <laughs> I apologise on behalf of all of South Wales for doing that. Um, but uh, I am actually... At the moment, I'm trying to organise an online festival. I said I'm new to Discord. Discord has got a very low latency in terms of the audio it provides, and I'm hoping that'll mean we can do a fiddle session. So it's the Fiddle Festival of Wales that I'm trying to organise right now, and that'll be all of Wales, and it'll be all of the world, because it's on the internet. But it always made an attempt to uh, bring together the halves of Wales. It's a shame, really. But they're, they're <coughs> excuse me, they're so separate. Um... But the only solution to that is to have a really great big motorway going through the middle of Wales, and nobody really wants that, apart from the people who would make money building the motorway, I guess. I don't know. And, uh, you know, I'm sure there are some people who would just go, that'd be great for, for commuting, but um, there's lots of mountains in the way, and lots of beautiful scenery. So, uh, and the train line to go from south to north Wales is uh, you have to go through England first. So, in a way, to get the fastest roads as well, you have to go through England first. You don't have to go through England to get to North Wales. You can go around the, the West Coast. Um, but, uh, yeah. anyway. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Minty's Gig Guide. So, Minty has now started a, a Twitch channel, Minty's Game Guide, and <coughs> his energy is infectious. My energy is 
what you've seen. Sometimes I kind of go quietly into my breath, and that's probably all you get from me. And <laughs> I apologise in advance for any disappointment. But um, Minty's an energy is infectious. He was playing Tony Hawks the other night. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> I was getting too relaxed then. Gosh, you know, it lulls me into a false sense of security. Um, so, yeah, he, uh, he, his energy, his nostalgic overload was just so, you know, so uh, his cup runneth over so much that there was uh, plenty left for the rest of us. My gosh. Uh, so if you like your high energy, brilliantly uh, energy, uh, I said energy twice, brilliantly um um, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, brilliantly entertaining, yes, but also, like, just infectious laughter. Um, really friendly stream and so much nostalgia. But also, if you, if you like victory celebrations, you know, that was the biggest moment I've ever had and it almost seemed like it was a mediocre achievement, I made it sound like, by kind of... You know, I was I was pointing and doing lots of that, but it was very, still very, very chilled. Whereas uh, when Minty does something great on stream in a game, oh my gosh, uh, I think it's all street will know about it. It's fantastic to watch. It's, it's <laughs> he's not shouty. He's just ah, oh, you know, all the energy. Uh, whereas I'm just amazed I managed to achieve anything. <laughs> given uh, my previous performance. So again, as I say, either I'm getting better or the map's easier. Oh, heck. Why is he broken off? No! Don't leave your team! <laughs> right. Supply crit... Ah, well, that's an advantage as well. Last time, I basically landed on a weapon. That's not a supply crit. This time? Uh, oh, that's nothing. Great. Okay, so this time I've basically got nout. Oh, hey. I'm just going to basically sweep up everything I can before this guy gets it. Thanks, buddy. We all need weapons, you know. What am I thanking you for? You didn't leave anything. Oh, fine. I don't have any weapons. I have lots of shields. Alright, thank you, thank you. Right. That I will thank you for because you dropped something for me. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, I don't know how to drop weapons yet. You can feel free to tell me in chat how to drop weapons. I don't know how to do it. Uh is it F and then you've got to go into a menu or something, but then oh my gosh. That's just too much for me. All right, fair enough. At least they're... they're oh, do I really want that? No. All right. If you want it, you got it. Got to remember what the aims are. Oh, crumbs. Should be down already. See them close range. Sorry, but I've had it done to me so many times. I've stayed here too long, I think. Sugar. Where's the nearest beacon, then? Show me. Did actually manage to help someone out before. I don't have a clue where the nearest beacon is. To my right? Ah, there you go. That's what normally comes up, see? I thought I heard something. 
Right, I know I'm leaving my teammate behind, however, if I can get to the beacon quick enough, I'll gain a teammate. And this is one thing that I'm actually half decent at. So... Behind me, isn't there? Oh, it's my teammate. Right, good. Fab, we're back to three, guys. I couldn't, I couldn't work out how to get out of that. <laughs> I was trying to use the syringe and it just wasn't doing it. <sighs> Not at the expense of your teammate, no, but you know I'm there now. Right, now come back for me. Thank you. A long way to that beacon. I'm not expecting to be rescued anytime soon, but uh, good shot. Right, and I think that's what I like about this as well. You, you, you've yeah, again, you've got a chance of an actual game. Obviously, if the whole squad get eliminated all at once, you're stuffed. But if somebody can recover you, then as I say, you, you've, you're actually in with a chance of being back in the game. It's kind of like, kind of like a lot more violent crystal maze, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> a lot more fast paced. Um, they can buy you out with a crystal. That's not quite the scene. Um, okay, pressure's off a bit now. Just sort of, just watch. Oh, oh yeah, the reload time always catches me out as well. Ah. Oh. Feel for you. You're in a good position now. They might have to have reloaded. Where have we gone? Mystery now. Where are they hiding? No, that's your teammate. <laughs> I'd grab it. Oh, I see. So the reason I didn't see the beacon last time was because uh, I didn't ping it. So you're actually responsible for your own rescue. But also, I guess, not annoying them. Last time I was just ping, 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 whereas I guess the, the aim is not to annoy them, because if they're in the middle of a, of a battle, uh, then it's pretty hard to go off and rescue. I've got a couple of grenades off. Come on, but how do I... This is what I don't know. Um, tell me if you know. How do I get out of grenades? If I select a grenade... Sorry, it's going slow now because I clicked out onto onto a browser. Um, because I try and do this mouse up and down and it doesn't work. I guess I'm meant to press the key to get the weapon. I know. Oh, I'd get the other guy. He was aiming at you. Ooh, good cover, but I just shot him sooner. I, I, I'm not in a position to tell you what to do. I'm rubbish, but... Oh, good shot. Ooh. He's hiding. Round two. Beginning ring countdown. So, Apex. <laughs> Legends. Switch. From... 
This I'm literally googling it. Switch from grenade to main weapon. I guess it's just pressing one. But, oh. Ah, somebody. At least I'm not. I don't feel so stupid now. Somebody is saying this in a forum. Can we please switch back to the weapon we were having? No auto switch after throwing grenades. Um. All right. I n I now feel a lot less stupid. Um. Only happens. After you lose your last grenade. Happens you lose your last grenade and... Stop using it, the scroll wheel to switch using them with these. Well, yeah, okay. But speed up the game again by going back into it properly. Um. Oh. Gonna lose, they're gonna lose the squad, I think. I haven't got the heart to do the respawn beacon now. But we're at position 9, it's not bad, 9 out of 20. I think that's just gone, is it? Or, yeah, pretty much. One left. I'll ping the beacon just because it might help. <coughs> Now he's picked up his respawn. Does that mean that he's got mine as well? Ooh. What's this? What's this? Shield, I guess. I don't know what he did there, but it looked cool. <laughs> right. All rests on you, A underscore Albert. I reckon even if you can just keep in the game you're gonna clock up some places because you know leave the other leave the other seven squads fight it out for a little bit I'm not advocating camping I just mean yeah I'm pinging the respawn beacons pointless in here there isn't one anywhere near what happens to the mobile respawn beacons then? did they go in season five because you used to be able to do it yeah, I'm pinging the beacon just nothing's happening so there obviously isn't one anywhere near. Or well, it's ignoring me. Or I'm, am I spectating somebody else's game? No, I don't think... No, I'm, I'm in this game. That's that's me. Well, I'm not actively in it, but... Uh, I was just checking I wasn't trying to ping a respawn beacon for... Oh, oh. Yeah, that's it. But we got seventh place. Oh, no, he's recovered. Oh, whatever that was, he had to abort it. Where is that? If you can get to a respawn beacon, there's still a chance of us getting back in the game, yeah? And you'll be back to a three-strong squad. Come on, ping. Oh, well. No, I am just guessing, to be fair, that there can't be one anywhere near, because I can't hear it. It's like trying to find your keys with one of those whistle key rings. <laughs> and you're there going, I can never whistle anyway, so I was just kind of going... <laughs> <laughs> hoping that it recognised that, because uh, sometimes it managed to recognise like a little pitiful whistle, sort of like, <laughs> and it would beep, 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 beep. You remember those key rings? So you can find your keys. It's just the problem is I normally have lost them uh, in a place where you'd never be able to hear them. Like if they're down the size of the bed, you, unless you've got very good hearing, you've got no chance. I say by the side of the bed between other things. Obviously, if it just lands on the floor, you're fine, but. Uh, they normally land in a gap between the things by the side of the bed and the bed itself. And then somebody else, something else maybe would fall on top of them, or the sheets would be on top of them, and you just wouldn't hear a thing. Uh, I hope you don't mind, chat, but I am... Um, I'm sticking with the team till the end. 
even though the team is just one of us. And the respawn beacon doesn't seem to be doing anything. So yeah, as I say, I don't, I don't think there is one. <laughs> or I've hit it too many times and I've run out of goals. Maybe that's what's happened. Or maybe it, uh, maybe my respawn thing is still with the other guy and the other guy is on the floor, so. I don't know. I honestly don't know. But uh, through no action of my own, we have now gone from eighth place to fifth place, I think. Hang on, I just say 11. Five squads left out of 11. Is it? Or is it 11 players? It's five squads left out of 11. And 11 players. There's some squads that aren't trios then. It's not down yet. Yeah, it must be. Okay, it's players. Right, this is the wall that was heading towards me. It's orange in this case. Yeah, and, and I ran backwards. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That wouldn't have helped your health. But that one bad. That was not bad. Okay, my, my scores aren't. My scores aren't there. Shh, man. Shut it off. Uh, my scores aren't all that in this game. But I dealt some damage. I survived some time. And I gave a respawn. I, I got. I, nobody else gave a respawn. Look. They did recover me, to be fair. Okay. I reckon we should carry on with this. What do you think? Um, this dummies level is quite cool. Uh, and I am a dummy, so it's like, it, yeah, it's Apex Legends for dummies. <laughs> with dummies. Uh, sorry, I wasn't accusing the rest of the team. Or oh, everybody else of being dummies, just me. Uh, hey, hang on now. I got, I got two. I got two. So why are you saying zero? Hmm. Or does it just mean I've gone to battle pass level two? I, I don't know. Squad placed fourth out of 20. Hey. Again, uh, I'd like to say... Well, no, no, that, that's not fair. I did contribute to that, but all of the climb from eighth place to fourth place was that last player. So, let's... Uh, Get in straight away without prevaricating. Um, and yeah, this is what I've seen in other people's streams actually. Where I, I, I've just wondered why they switched to just chatting and not just gone straight into the game. I didn't twig. I, di I didn't understand that. Um, I'll invite them just in case they want to join back in. Uh, I didn't twig that it's because people were waiting for games. So I was just like, oh, well, it, you know, you tired of it already? We only just started. No. Because they were waiting to be matched in the game. I never remember taking this long a quake, mind. I haven't said that. Is it just time of night thing? Is it? Uh, it can't be that not many people are playing it. I think it is because it's trying to match uh, skill levels, and I'm at a very low skill level. So, as I say, maybe there aren't many people down here. The highlight was still the last game, so we've had one awesome game and one game where we actually placed better as a whole team but I think I flunked things a bit by being stuck in grenade mode it's just the number keys I want specifically one and two if I want to switch back so I've worked out how to drop weapons for other people but uh, we'll get there I don't know whether it's worth, for the first time ever, putting my B right back on. I don't know. Just because I want to get top up for this. We'll see how we go. <sighs> Guaranteed, if I step out of the room, this will start up. Bet you anything. Right, so there's a friend from the last time I played. They were pretty good, as I remember it. I say friend, I don't know them uh, personally. 
they just happened to be in, in the squad and we basically kept going into games about five or six times altogether. So I thought, yeah, see if I'd gone out of the room. Um, so I thought I'll add them as a friend because it invited me to after playing so many games with them and then... But, but I don't know these people. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you're meant to use friends. I just know them by association by playing lots of games with them. And they were a good team. Let's go for a yellow dummy then. Now that's more like a crash test dummy, I suppose, if it's yellow. Yellow and black should... Uh... And... <laughs> See, I think I thought it was Thursday night where everyone I knew was on stream at the same time, but I don't know. Tonight seems to be one of those nights as well. Introducing your champion. So, yeah, there's a load of us that are trying to support each other, and we're all on at the same time, so we can't watch each other and do this at the same time. <laughs> okay. We're back in. Sorry if it's a bit... St oh, actually, sorry if you can't see it at all. That might help. Um, now let's get back in game. Uh, no, this computer is one I... I say rescued. It was sat on a shelf for seven years. I've been gradually retrofitting it into a... Uh, capable streaming and gaming PC, but... I've also got three monitors on the go at the same time, and if I click out of the game... It's not... Um, quite capable of me being out of the game if that makes sense so you know it, it it's it slows down a bit but that, that's honestly that's only because I'm oh, I've got one grenade fab right it's not really what I want I need, need some 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 actual something useful well, there we are all right what's that Ooh, ooh, ooh! Uh, I have, I have none. All right, so this is a bit like Fortnite. I can pick up stuff, and so that's what they mean when they say replicate. Right? Okay. I don't know. It's all new, new to me. Must be a new thing in season six as well, maybe. More cheers. But oh, yeah. No, I will thank you for that. That's very. I'm very grateful. So I don't mind if people sweep everything up and then donate stuff. That's quite that's quite cool of you. Cool of you. I don't know why I said it like that. But when people go, like I say, that there's a there's a volume in hyperscape as well. People basically were. Sorry, I thought I saw something. I thought I saw enemy fire. They might they must just have been firing. Why can I not run? The heck? Oh, because I'm in right. Sorry. Because I was in uh, zoomed in aim mode. This looks cool. What is this? All right, I'll, I'll let you do it because you know what you're doing. I don't know if you're leaving those for me or collecting them for yourself. I don't want to take them if you. I keep again hyperscape if you're somewhere near it and you press the pickup button it'll pick it up whereas um, this one you need to actually have your aim on it which kind of makes sense but it's all just slightly different than that ah okay so I collected... I see. Right, so I have to go around collecting this stuff. And then... Oh, 
Health might be useful. because the ring's closing. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, I got a med kit. Oh, here we go. I haven't got my charge rifle now, see. So I'm going to be... Oh my gosh. Six of forty eight. That's another thing I'm yeah, I've got to get used to checking. <coughs> hey, I've learned how to learn how to thank. Whilst keeping my finger on the button. That's new. New for me. No, then. Not great at seeing fire from a distance. I can use my camera from my right. Basically, it takes me ages to see whether. That's why I hung back in the first game, because my strength, <laughs> if I had any any usefulness, I wouldn't say my strength, but if I had any usefulness, it was hanging back just for a little bit and getting my aim right and supporting the team because I was slower than they were. But then, by being further away, Whoa, that's clever. Why did I do that? <laughs> I, just, I just jumped. What's up there? What's the point? Should I go up there? Probably not. If that was me sploshing in the water or somebody firing at me behind me, I don't know. There's definitely something going on up there, isn't it? That's the thing, I don't know how far away that is. I presume it's close enough to hear it. Sugar. Someone's up in that thing, aren't they? Are they? Ooh. Oh! Oh! I, got, I actually got a shot. Oh my god. Well, there was somebody up there. I actually managed to deal some damage. Ooh. Oh. Dash. But I got some damage that so for me that's actually an achievement because I've never actually managed to do that before. Okay, it took me took me four shots to get my bearings, but actually 
No, I actually got one back. Rather than getting none back. So I'm going to count that as a win. Okay, I'm not expecting you to do it right now. Sorry, I shouldn't have pinged it. Maybe. Now I'll ping it. There you go. There's one right over there. I can be back in the game with you. Guys, guys, I'm. Oh, there was one right there. It, hey. This is the other thing. To be fair, actually, maybe I'm playing with people who don't know how to do it. Let's be fair. Well, he's looking, at least. Oh, there was a lot going on there, to be fair, as well. Also, that's quite far away. Okay, he's making a break for it. Thank you. Yes. Who are we going for? Nick7505 is making a break for it. We've only got 55 seconds to the end of the round, so you've got to get to a respawn beacon before then. Don't necessarily see it happening. Well, you don't have to get to that one, I suppose. You can get to any of them. I need to learn how to use those clicky menus as well. Those just throw me. Because I'm like, ah, menu. Well, a different mode of mouse operation. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing. Uh, right, so, just waiting for a respawn. Let's give it another ping, just in case anybody's looking. There we go. You can see it. There's a big green beam <laughs> coming down. And at the moment... Not too much enemy fire, so I might be back in the game. Might be lucky, eh? Where's it going? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I, I take back what I said. I, I thought he was running away from the respawn beacon then, but no. Uh... Am I in? Oh, right. So you don't have to go to a respawn beacon. Oh, this is weird. You just have to get into the next ring. Right, I'm back with you guys. Yeah. Hello. I don't know why I'm saying hello, because you can't hear me saying hello. I didn't even say that. about anything at the moment. Anything will do. 20 rounds, not much, but better than out, isn't it? What's this? Nothing. Can I give? I see. If I wait too long to thank them, it goes off. Uh, okay, I don't know what I did. That is not what I thought I'd picked up, but... Okay. It'll do. Let's get with the team. I like these decoys. They're very cool. It might explain as well why if I was firing at somebody before and nothing seems to be happening, perhaps it was a decoy. Unless that was a new thing. Oh, blinking neck. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that was short-lived. And get close to my team. Oh no, both of us. Well, that's as close as I could get. Um, right, what have I learnt from this? Um, <laughs> I've learnt that 
I let it go to my head. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Tried to go for them, assuming I was in the clear, whereas there were other people firing behind me, and then they decided, oh, I'm not going to go for them, I'm going to go for you. So... I want to see what this thing does. Oh, what? Uh, uh, I don't think getting to the next ring is an option this time. And there's enemies right next to the recover beacon. I see it. They're loot. They're getting all my loot. <laughs> I like. I like your style. Going around from the back. Yeah. Yeah. Enemies should be far enough away now. They're just up in that. They're up there. They're up there. They're on the right. I also didn't know how to use that crosshair. I had no idea. It's confusing me because it's like pointing up. Oh, I think that's it. That's us. Fourth place, though. That's fourth place twice in a row. Oop, sorry. <laughs> Wrong one. Dealt 44 damage. None of us got any uh, kills that time. 44 damage for me, 40 sec 47 for Gaspard, and 299 for Nick7505. Fairly even survival time as well. So, uh, in terms of relative skill level, I mean, their skill level could have changed, I suppose. Mine's gone up a bit. Maybe, maybe I'm playing against... Maybe, no, I'm not being mean. They, they seem to be pretty good to me. Um, so either I'm evening up or I just happen to have been put with a team that's more matched in skill level. I don't know. They seemed a lot better than me. So I, I don't want to sound unfair saying that. That sounds a bit mean. <laughs> it's not that I've got better. It's everybody else has got worse. <laughs> it's kind of a reverse compliment that isn't really a compliment, isn't it? Um, but I think... I should have left it at evening out. We've evened out. So, uh... Okay. Let's do it again, because this is a time-limited thing. So, uh, why not make the most of it while we can? Isn't it? So... Try and invite them again. Give it a try. They're in a match already. Okay, fine. Uh, right. So, do I risk going to fill up the squash? I mean, I could, what I could just cancel. I'm not thinking about this. But then, uh, yeah. If I cancel it, is that okay? No. I, li I literally just run a nip and get a squash. And it's also practice at doing this, because I've never actually left a... Uh, stream before so I will be right back We're back. How long was I gone? <laughs> no, but I've got to practice uh, as well. I've got to practice making this sustainable because I'm going to have to be able to pop out and pop back. 
if I want to go to longer streams. I'm, again, I'm not in a rush to do that yet. However, I'm in the zone. I'm having fun. So there's not really a lot of point in uh, <coughs> in just ending the stream and going, oh, well, that's it, because I need a drink, which is what I've done before. Because I didn't, I didn't know if I could go or not, but didn't even fill it up all the way. Look, that's how dedicated I am to this. But I only filled it three quarters full. Ju just enough for me to to have something slow it down a bit. To have something to, you know. Because uh, we talk a lot more on a stream than on a radio show. And I talked a lot on my radio show. We talked far too much on my radio show, in fact, sometimes. But uh, I always had, like, if a song came on, I could line two, two songs up together. Leave it run on automation, and I know I'd have enough time to make a cuppa. This is a different beast. But yeah, there we are. That is the first, another stream first. I've actually it's not new. Other people have be right back screens. It's not it's not it's not unique, it's not new, it's not unusual. But it's the first time I've done it. Um So there we are. I think that that, that it's just a, one of those milestone things again. It's a little thing, but it's a sign of progress. If I have had to pop out from a stream, it means Little step closer. Oh, stop chatting and <laughs> fire it off on uh, getting into a matchmaking. I just didn't want to do that while I was out of the room. Because if I did that while I was out of the room, guaranteed, as I say, it would try and matchmake while I was out of the room. And that would be okay if I was just about to land, but I'd probably just be standing there. <laughs> Again, it would be like the early days of Quake. Again where my internet would crash out because I was only on 56, 56k dial up and uh, they were all on these cable T1 lines and all sorts of whatnots going on. Um, the disparity is a lot less now. If you're on broadband compared to fibre, um, they're both broadband, um, ADSL compared to fibre, the disparity is nowhere near as much as it was for me compared to a T1 line. Which, of course, if I was in university, I suppose, uh, universities have got T1 lines, so... Yeah, but by then I wasn't uh, really playing... Well, I didn't have... I, I didn't I didn't live out when I was in uni, so... I didn't have my own computer in my room, I had my laptop. Um, which was would not have managed any games, I don't think. It was a good laptop, but no. <coughs> I wouldn't have even managed old games, excuse me. Uh, so... Still matchmaking. Just having a check on Discord, by the way. If you look below uh, my screen here, uh, I am on Discord. There is a Discord below me. <laughs> How many different ways can I say it? Um, and you're more than welcome to join to keep in touch and find out what I'm doing. I will try my best to keep it up to date. Uh, my aim last week was to stick to my time slots because uh, I tried a few different time slots. Well, I went straight from the radio show that I was doing straight into trying to keep to the same time slot streaming and uh, life just happened nothing bad just you know stuff happens when you're about to go and stream because uh it was me on my lonesome rather than being part of a station where the people were dependent on me it was like all right okay i'll leave it go to the upper state and then nine o'clock and then it just drifted and ended up not happening um so left it for a while did it more ad hoc and then um, Half Past Nine seems to have emerged as a relatively stable time to commit to for now. May change in the future, because I've got uni coming up. Oh, that reminds me. I need to enrol. <laughs> Should I do that while I'm waiting? That's just a weird thing to do on stream. I'm not necessarily going to show you my login details. No, that's that's not it. Uh, but what, while we're waiting, uh, 37 players in queue. Um change it to there in case it drops me into game mode. Oh, t see? It listened to me. Okay, we'll enrol after this, right? We will enrol for uni live on stream. So at the moment I'm doing um, a uni course that kind of goes alongside the work I'm doing. So um, it's like an apprenticeship, really. And I'm in the second year of that at the moment. Go about to go into the second year. I won't be in the second year if I don't enrol. 
And I've had the reminder email. I've got plenty of time yet, but that's the problem. Because I've got plenty of time, I'm not doing it. So, uh... Actually, I won't mute the squad. I can't hear them anyway. That's a good point. If I don't mute it, do I... Do I hear myself? Do they hear me if I don't mute it? I don't, I don't know. Do they hear me talking to myself? <laughs> I hope they weren't shouting at me all game, just going, shut up! <laughs> oh god, no, I don't want to be the jump master! <laughs> yeah, relinquish. <laughs> yeah, someone else more experienced to it. I haven't got a clue. Anyway, I was grabbing my drink. Gosh. Hey, the minute I start knowing the maps a bit better, maybe I'll be the jump master. But I, I, I did not want that responsibility. Definitely did not want that responsibility. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, great. There's people on top of us already. I haven't got anything. literally desperation then thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you that was meant to be a thank you not a nice but never mind it's not really helpful to me at the moment without uh without oh, is that all i get but that was just insane i guess the Excuse me. Right, let's get ourselves something, at least. To fire with. That was close. Two teams just literally dropping in the same place. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's randomly punch it. Okay, 18 rounds. Not a huge amount, but 20 to reload with, at least. Um... Uh, Oh, where are we going? Right, okay. Yeah, it's definitely enemy fire coming from up there, guys. Streaming over the top of us. I'm gonna get on defensive. But I'm gonna stay close to the wall so I can just duck behind it if I need to. Oh. Oh, that was just a bit of dust. <laughs> Thought, oh my gosh, I'm actually getting good at spotting enemies. No, it was literally a bit of uh, dandelion seed, <laughs> whatever those are. <laughs> literally all it was. Right. Where, where, where did you go? Okay. New kill leader appointed. Cool. <laughs> That's what that does then. <coughs> Excuse me. That's oh. Oh. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Let me thank you again. waste I'm sorry I just totally wasted their alive I 
Well, that was hopeless. When I had the charge rifle, it was all right, see? Um... Slowing up and down chase player. Oh, I think we're going to be out on this one. We were surrounded from the start. Yeah. That was a toughie. 15th place. Going downhill. Although it's not the same team, granted. Oh, sorry. Turn that down a bit. Uh, what was I going to do in the break? Oh, yeah. Enroll. Yeah. I probably should do that. <laughs> <laughs> Multitasking to the max. Streaming and enrolling for uni at the same time. Also being uh, very subtly advertising my stream in the Discord there, but uh, it's not meant to be. That we were asked, how's everyone's evening going? I was just saying what I was actually doing. That, that's what I'm doing. Okay. So, I need to go to here. <laughs> it's very exciting for you. You can't see the screen. Right. But I'm not, I'm not going to show you because I'll end up showing you my, my student number and everything. I want the details. That's not good. So, just double checking that you can't see that. Uh, but yeah. Is this a first? I don't know. Is this a stream first for all of Twitch? Has anybody else ever enrolled live? <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry. I didn't mean to shout. It says, latest student news, it's Throwback Thursday, except it's not. It's Tryout Tuesday. Throwback Thursday's on Thursday. But, uh, that is a weird coincidence. That is a really weird coincidence. Anyway, right. Um, uh, wearing face coverings on campus. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I think I'm going to stick with the distance learning for now. What we're going to do in our uni is hybrid approach. So they're going to have... Uh, some people in if they want to be, and other people learning from home, as we have been for the past few months. Just realised I can't type that in without. Oh. Ah, I got to uh, upload a photo of myself. Do I have to? And the one already there. There's a perfectly good one already there. Let's enroll first. Should I upload my stream logo? That'd be quite funny. I presume my student pass is, is going to stay the same. I don't need a new student pass. All right, I agree to abide by the records. Yes, I do. Yes, I have. Yeah. These are important things, it's just I have read them. Uh, oh, yeah, maybe don't click that. <laughs> Asking if I want to receive my record in a different language that I don't speak fluently. No, no, I don't, don't want to do that. Uh, oh. If they want to contact me by phone, fine. After I graduate, but it's a long way away yet. Well, two years. Uh, yes, you can do that as well. Ooh. Let's go for pink for fun. Right. Okay, that, that's not that's not do enrolment half hour. It is more important than that. Um, I'll leave it till the next. Just saying, got two kills of those. Well happy with that. My first kill in any mm. FPS in... Uh-oh. Uh I forgot to click mute. Team. Oh. Uh, 
Right, so we've got push to talk, enable the beast. Incoming chat volume zero. Right, there we go. Oops. <laughs> Sorry guys, you, you see... Seemed like perfectly decent people and all, um, and they were actually talking very nicely. Um, but I was too busy distracted. That was my fault. I, I humbly apologise. Uh, right. But again, there were people right on top of us. This normally doesn't happen. I can't join you guys because I need to get some. Actually, I'm back up to the same level now, aren't I? Ah, I didn't know that was, I thought I was rejoining my team. Oh, that was just, that was just plain embarrassing. But yeah, no, that was, that was the, that was non-optimal, shall we say. Given that. <laughs> That was that was nigh on impossible. Come on. I, 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 what could I have done? What could I have done there? Apart from not chat while I was in game, but it, I got thrown because the, the voice chat came on. And I didn't know how to fix it, and then I didn't know if my voice chat was going through. But it turned out my push to talk was enabled, so that means that's good, because it wasn't automatically going through. But I didn't know that, so I didn't know if I was waffling over the game or not. Ugh. So I'm gonna have to wait for another one now. Think neck. Right, okay. <laughs> right, should we finish? <laughs> Let's carry on with the enrollment then. Uh, concentrate properly on one thing at a time. Uh, right, rules, 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 that, don't change my language, um, I don't mind you phoning me after I graduate and I give consent to use the data, fine, right, okay, I agree, does that mean I'm enrolled now, I can do the photo later, <laughs> take it, take, take it live on, <laughs> on stream, <laughs> the photo of my profile would be like a background of Apex Legends, no, it's tempting but no. Um, yes, well, technically it's my home. Oh, I could change that then. Uh, Why am I having to do all this again? I've never had to do this before. I didn't, oh, I didn't think I did. I thought it was literally just fill in the details and carry on, but I have to go through and check everything. So, uh, yeah, if you're just joining me, live union enrollment on Twitch. Yeah, what, what category should that go in? Well, I'm actually I'm waiting for a game. To, I'm waiting for the game to come up on on Apex, but. Um, All right. Mm. I thought that you could just kind of choose to do it online or on campus, but they're asking you for that choice now. How do you intend to study now? Is it is it um, face to face teaching when available or online only? And I don't know. So how I feel about that. Personally, I feel that we should do online only until we know more, but then it says the expectation is that you will engage in your studies on campus, so... Hmm. 
Oh, I'm not going to forget to meet the squad this time. Even though the last guy seemed like perfectly pleasant people. <laughs> and so all my earlier reasons for not doing the voice chat didn't really apply necessarily. Who have we got then? we got me. Yes, I, I know. Um, don't make me squad leader again. Please don't make me squad leader again. Not ready for that. Oh, I am again. Oh, flip. Right. right let's, let's not drop anywhere near anywhere else. Where's everybody else gone? Some over there. Okay, I think we've picked well, but there's a squad. Oh no! No! the jump leader I've just succeeded in losing all my team maybe I should get back to them <laughs> sorry I made a break and assumed that they were all gonna follow me and they just didn't <laughs> right okay I guess we need them for defending you're gonna leave some for me cheers cheers is cheers is I don't know I'm coming up with new words now I'm just Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a leader of anything apart from the jump. Did you all miss that one? Can't get it. Okay, fine. It's a shame. Okay, so. We're in with a bit of a better chance this time. I thought I was going to land too close to another team, but we actually managed... Like that. If it's better than what I've got, but it's got more rounds. So, <coughs> so that infinite sign I, I thought meant. Ooh. Okay, I have that then. That's an auto. Right. I'm leaning over to one side. Team. Oh heck. Gone off without me again. That either means they know something I don't. Or I don't know what. But now I'm gonna need to get into the next ring somehow. Okay, fine. But you're miles away. There you go. What's that? Damn. Did you get up there? Catch up with them in a bit. It's like Duke of, Ed Duke of Edinburgh all over again. Well, no, it's very much not like Duke of Edinburgh, but <laughs> there, are, there are several ways in which this is nothing like it. No <laughs> expedition I'm talking about, but where I feel like I'm on my own and playing catch up. Okay, we're obviously up there. There's no point climbing up there. All right. Oh, come on! I had a super powerful weapon! Attention. Delivering care package. 
Cheers. Yes, now this is getting this is getting good. Teamwork. I didn't realise I could ping while I was down. So I was just like, enemy, 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 enemy. <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. I just didn't react quick enough. It took me a... That, see what I mean? It, it just takes me ages to react, let alone... Got any syringes? Oh, well that was a waste. I've just lost my team. Frick. Where are they firing from? Yeah, can't see any enemies though. Oh, come on! Oh. Uh. But at least it's getting interesting. Hey, no, no, this is getting interesting. Uh, I missed my revive time, clearly. Bad time to bring the banner. That's the problem. Yeah, I think that's it. The dummies level is throwing us. Throwing us all, myself included. Pick up my banner! <laughs> Thank you. Um, that's it, so I saw an enemy right in front of me, just, and he was kind of looking at me, and I was looking at him, and he was like, Oh, here? I don't know. Um, I'm, a, I'm a him, so, yeah. Cognitive bias there, apologise. But, uh, or. Unintentional bias, not necessarily unconscious. Why is it slowed down? Get back in game. That beacon is a long way away. I guess he's fueling up for the. Uh yeah, it's over there. Spent too long trying to perfect my slide and run rather than concentrating on what I was doing earlier. I mean, skill building's good, but there's a time and a place for it, Jamie, and the time and the place wasn't there. I could have done some damage though, surely. <coughs> okay, we're back in the game. I think. Excuse my nose. It's gone a bit dry in it. Oh, crumbs. It respawned me out of the ring. This is what happened last time. It's kind of ridiculous. That was a bit of luck. Uh, med kit. Oh, crumbs. No. Gonna get me again. Right, we need to get out of there. Where's my team? Syringe. They just weren't looking, were they? They were looking. They, they basically, I feel a little bit mean there because they were being me. <laughs> they were being me essentially. 
They were um, looking away, looking forward, assuming nothing could come from behind them. Ah, see, I knew there was a mobile respawn beacon. Just plonk it down. Yep. Somewhere safe. Not out in the open. All right. He's t that, that, that makes some sense. While there's less firing going on, they've dropped me next to some supply crates. That's that's very decent of them. Oh, I thought that was a respawn beacon. It was obviously a supply beacon. No, it is a respawn beacon. It's a mobile respawn beacon. I like your thinking, guys. Oh, I'm back in. I'm no time for a drink. <laughs> No weapons, but they've dropped me next to three supply crates. That was very, very considerate. I'm starting to get the whole point of this now. So you don't just don't necessarily just respawn where you like. If I can land just there, perfect. I can pick up stuffs. Not much. A couple of grenades might help the team out though. Although they're far away, so I'm kind of stuffed. to stop though eventually but I'm not gonna get there it's all the way up there flip how are you meant to get there how are you meant to know what to do in this blinking game <sighs> so far away now so far away I don't even know which way to head now Really unfair. Yeah, I know they said the next ring is far. Uh, whole squad down, they've said nice. <laughs> There's just. It just outran me. Just completely outran me. Well, at least I'm not the only one. Smart move, though. Uh, helping up. To get yourself through the banner, yeah, well. You might get the other team, mate. You, might, you won't get me. I understand. Oh, fair dues for trying, but I don't know if it's a mistake. Oh, that was me. Get back, get back, get out, get back of the ring. Oh, this guy's got it. This guy's smart. Okay, that's what I should have gone for then. I'm starting to appreciate the strategy now. I just feel like you rescued the wrong person. You should have rescued the other one. I just happen to be closer. Oh, I so wanted that to work, but I also so wanted to tell you to go on on your own. Go on without me, save yourself. Hey, I got one though. Only because he was facing away from me and not looking, but... Uh... Obviously, thirsty work. Are we gonna have to take another break? Ooh, it's a refill. Hi, J uh, so uh, I wanted to ask this. Do I call you Jacob? Uh, cheers for joining me. Yeah, it was, uh, I I've just ordered a new cooling fan as well. If you can hear some uh, fans in the background today, it's not the heater. Today, it's actually uh, Jacob works cool. Yeah. Ah, oh, glad you could join me. Um, and I really enjoyed uh, the stream the other night and uh, and the chat as well. Honestly, it's uh, you know, 
you're right to check. It might not have been everybody's thing, but for me, I was I was I was having a proper geek out. And also, we shouldn't have to apologise for being geeks on here. It's Twitch. We, we kind of need a certain level of uh, geekiness to to be allowed in. I suspect is there like a passport? <laughs> passport gets stamped. Are you geeky enough for Twitch? No, but you know you have to have a certain level of of technical expertise. It's an, you know it's a level that lots of people have. You don't have to be a gamer. You don't have to be into building PCs or anything. Um, I've seen uh, comedy shows live on Twitch. I've seen people doing chat shows. It's, you know, it's great. It's diversifying quite a lot. Um, yeah, it's going well. I, I actually now have had three kills live on stream. I, I was um, I would have been pleased enough to capture the first one on stream live. Because I thought, too much stress. Um, I'm rubbish at these games. I need to play them offline. And I thought the momentous occasions were going to happen offline but no it happened it was captured it happened a while ago so let's see if we can replicate it the thing that's frustrating me i think it's just it's waiting around i don't remember waiting around so long to join a game in anything it's uh, very strange Are you, do you find this with games a lot um that you just have to wait around for ages maybe it's just because it's massively multiplayer and that just you know just seems to take an inordinate amount of time how's uh, how's your day going jacob Going good. Uh, running out. I, I need. I need like a top up for the top up. Um, Jacob saying I'm working on some of the computers I rescued yesterday, and the first one I opened up had uh, had this really big spider in it that uh, nonetheless is very good at hiding. I've been hunting <laughs> it for three hours. Oh my god. Oh no! Uh, I've got this brilliant thing, a, a local supermarket called uh, I say local, you know, it's a, a national, it's an international chain. But little, I don't know if you have them over there. Uh, little Lidl. There was a big advert on the radio years ago about how to say it properly. It's Lidl. No, it's Lidl. No, it's Lidl. Uh, but they brought out this spider catcher. The only failing of it, it's like spider catcher 2.0. Basically, we've upgraded from the yogurt pot and the piece of paper. Um, and it's a it's a little it's like a little stick. It's in the other room. I could go and get it, but um, I can't reach it from here. I'd have to leave. Um, but it's like a stick with a sliding door, and you, you slide you slide your thumb up and down. It slides the slides the door up and down. It's fantastic. The downside is because it's so big, the spider normally has a chance to get away. So you're there going in, and it's like the spider. You know, you hit the web beforehand, and the web alerts the spider to the fact you're trying to catch it, and you can't quite. You can't quite get there quick enough. So it would be completely useless, useless for this case. Um, for this case, ha <laughs> pun. Um, took literally the whole machine apart, removed the system board and everything, and it's still in there. Is it in between the layers? of? Because uh, some of the old computer cases were, like, you had multiple layers of metal, and you could sort of duck down and up, and if you lost a screw in there, it was a nightmare. Um, host your weapon to run fast. I'm not bothered about that right now. That's too much multitasking. That's what the game's telling me. Not that I'm doing too much multitasking. Ah! Jacob said it's still in there! The spider is still in there! I just don't know where! Oh, oh, oh no! Uh, let's pick that one then. Go for green for fun. As I'm explaining as well, I, I, I'm muting the squad just because... <sighs> yeah, so uh, if you've just joined like Jacob, uh, I'm playing Apex Legends. Lots of people play Apex Legends. What separates me from them? Well, I'm new to it. Actually, no. Lots of people are new to Apex Legends. Lots of people are new to Season 6 of Apex Legends. The difference with me is that the last FPS I played before I joined Twitch was at least a decade ago. So I am playing catch-up. And for a long time, I couldn't even get a single damage point let alone anything amounting to anything substantial and tonight might not be much in terms of average of uh, games played kills per games played but i've managed three tonight two in my first game couldn't believe it one of them <laughs> was complete desperation one of them was me literally punching because i had no weapons and i got respawned in the middle of uh <laughs> in, the, in the thick of it 
And so it's basically like, right, I've got nothing. No, 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 no. I'm pinging stuff. Ah. <laughs> uh, I, I accidentally pinged an enemy. Sorry. It's not an enemy. Oh, damn it. Oh, just, just come there. <laughs> Pick up stuff. <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> I just left some stuff for them, basically. Oh, so, so basically, I'm now pretending it doesn't exist. If it fries, it fries. Yeah, I don't know what the. <laughs> I had a really worrying thing happen actually with my lap. Was it my laptop? Yeah, I think it was my laptop. Um. I basically read about these things called screen bugs uh, and that's not like like an error in the rendering of, of what was on the screen. It was an actual literal screen bug and they said that there was this, this particular tiny little bug that really loved whatever was in the LCD crystal layer, you know, the, the, the actual crystal-y bit, the actual uh, whatever chemicals were in between the layers type of thing. So I thought, oh, well, thank goodness, I'm never going to see anything like that. And then I saw this dot moving across my screen. Not not after reading the article, that would have been too weird, but it was a couple of weeks later, and I actually saw this tiny little dot, tiny little black dot moving across the screen. Um, and it was a screen bug. And I saw it crawling further and further in towards the screen uh, and it's towards the center of the screen I was just like please turn around please turn around please turn around <laughs> and it did it turned around and walked the other way and I thought if you die I don't want you to die but if you die please don't die right in the middle of the screen it's got like a black dot permanently in the middle of the screen so yeah hopefully the spider will be it'll, it'll just go by itself It'll either find a nice cosy spot, and it likes the computer when it's turned on, in which case it'll it'll be fine, I guess. Uh, now, is that an enemy behind me? No, thank goodness. Because I'm not very quick at reacting when they are there. Moving off my nice pad a bit there. I nearly... Uh, when I bought that new uh, fan... Um, when I bought that new cooling fan... Um, I nearly bought a mat, and it said extra large, uh, like mouse gaming mat. And then I looked, and I thought, "You're spending twenty four ninety nine on a mat. Stop it! Just, just basically to make up stuff, because I have to pay delivery on the order anyway to add stuff just for the sake of it." And it's like, "Oh, for goodness' sake, no! You're not paying twenty four ninety nine for a mat when the one I got was ninety seven pence." Ninety-seven cents, if you will, converting between currencies there. But you know, it was basically less than a dollar, less than a pound. Um, so I'm not paying twenty-five quid for a mouse mat, gigantic, gigantic as it may be. Uh, I'm gonna take a moment while it's quiet, just to uh, just to click out the game quickly because it's blocked a message, and I don't know why. I'm sure you haven't said anything offensive. Uh, it's not even going to be worth the effort. Core Duo 6300 with an old NVIDIA N1107-1 GPU that's totally choked with dust. Um, I don't know why it blocked you there. Sorry. <laughs> I, I thought it was better to set my auto mod high and then drop it if need be, than set it too low. And given that I'm very new to Twitch, completely new to Twitch, you know, not be quick enough on, on the modding, but it it decided to auto mod you because you used identity. I don't know. It, it, it's thinking that you gave somebody's identity away, but you just mentioned the word Nvidia. I don't, I don't I don't see any other names there. So sorry about that. If it happens again, I'll just allow it. But there might be a time delay, and I obviously might have to drop the the excessive mod level. But again, I, I just thought that it was it's best to set it high first of all. Because I'm only just getting experience of uh, of managing chat and gaming, so 
That's what I uh, came up with the other day. There's this uh, group called Twitch Beans. Actually, it used to be it used to be the UK Twitch streamers group, but now it's gone international, so I could promote it to everybody. Um, but the link is in the UK Twitch street. Can't say it. UK Twitch streamers Discord. <laughs> no, it's not. It's in the UK Twitch streamers Facebook. So uh, if you don't necessarily join the group, you might you might, you might not want to. Can they fire through that? Oh! Sorry, I'm a bit distracted. Um, the link's there to a group called Twitch Beans. And... You know what I'm going to do? I need to get around here. Get around the back of them? Oh, dash. Thought I could. Sorry guys, didn't mean to abandon you. It's just I thought I could get around the back. Because they're just going to keep firing grenades. I'll be honest, this seems like a bit of a... Oh no! I don't revive. Sorry, sorry, I forgot I had to hold it down. Ooh! You up? Oh. Thanks for the cover fire. Thanks for the cover fire. Fired on my own. Oh, that's two of us. I tried. I tried. I don't think. I don't think I coordinated that very well. But that was no. I mean, they had the, all the advantage there. They had. They were hauled down. They had their grenades. We were never, we were never going to get through that. I don't know why they were doing it. I just, I can't judge because I'm rubbish at this game <laughs> as well. Um, I'm new to it as well. But uh, I'll be honest, I think that was literally a shot to nothing. I don't, I don't know why they were bothering. Just because we had enemies hauled down, I guess we knew where they were. But the, they had all the advantages. They were just checking grenades out and kept doing so. I don't think there was any point in that. But the rest of the team were doing it, so I joined in. <laughs> No. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping that the new fan for the processor will uh, knock 10 degrees off it because it hit 95. I downloaded... Oh, that's what I meant to say, Jacob. I downloaded the protein folding thing and I thought, oh, I'll join in with this. It sounds like a cool thing to do. Um, but what happened was uh, it took the processor to 95 degrees and I thought, okay, it's going beyond a joke now. I'm going to have to get uh, a cooler. And uh, there is an Octua NHL12 which it said, I think it was the NHL 09 I was going to buy. And that one said not recommended for turbo mode. And my processor has got a turbo mode on it. Uh, but the NHL 12 would have been, and probably would have taken it down 20 degrees, but it also was like gigantic and bits sticking out the top. And it said, you can reduce it to a lower profile by taking the fan off. And I thought, well, then why am I paying double the price for a cooler that I have to effectively cut in half, even though I'm not cutting it. I'm, you know, it's, you're allowed to take the fan off. They've designed it that you can. But then what's the point? <laughs> so I ended up going for one that was half the price. And um, t it'll, it should take 10 degrees off. But I'm hoping the effect will be more than that because the stock cooler is very high in the case. Uh, oh, Jacob's saying, yeah, hey, however much you can lower the temperature, it's going to be happier no matter what. And that's the thing. I don't want to hammer this thing. It's secondhand already. As far as I can tell, it's been treated well because it's in pristine condition. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't want to hammer it. It's the only one I've got. It costs quite a lot secondhand. You know, quite a lot compared to uh, compared to what I would normally pay. Remember, I'm in a whole different realm now. Uh, like with the games, in terms of computer upgrades, I'm in a whole different realm. Um, I'm used to a processor being about 30, 40 quid. Uh, motherboard being about 30, 40 quid. No, we've gone way past that now. Uh, so effectively, I guess, because this was a seven-year-old PC, I can count it as being free, sort of. I paid for it back in the day. But it's free, because it's, it's like having a second-hand computer, except it's mine. I'm the first-hand. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I got the processor second-hand for about £80. Um, 
brand new it would have been 160 maybe if i could have got one brand new but i didn't think they were available brand new uh so wasn't bad uh just basic checking you made sure the fan was oriented the right way <laughs> yes uh don't put anything past me believe me blowing air through the heat sink well basically the advantage i've got now is it is the stock cooler so unless the stock cooler was built the wrong way it's right i just took the whole cooler off the i3 swapped the i3 out for the i7 and then put the cooler back on top pushed it down put the paste on i, I put the i did remember to put the paste in um I had to order paste separately, so I had to wait a couple of days. I had the processor, which arrived first, which was meant to be arriving, like, after about a week. <laughs> it arrived first, and then I had to wait, like, two more days for the paste. And it's like, oh, I got all the bits, though. I got all the bits. I even had the alcohol by then, the isopropyl alcohol to clean it with. Um, but, uh, no, I mean, no, it's worth checking, definitely. But I have put my hand above it and, you know, that yeah, that the air's blowing the right way. Uh, so... But I didn't realise that. I thought it was meant to lift the, the heat out, actually. So it, it was a good question. I thought it was meant to lift the heat away. So it is actually blowing air through the heat sink and it's coming out the sides. I didn't realise that. Genuinely didn't. There we are. Learn something new every day. Um, so that's a good point. That explains why I didn't feel anything then. But anyway. Uh, um, depends on the configuration of the cooler. Okay, I, don't, I, feel, I feel a bit less stupid now, Jacob. <laughs> But uh, either way, whichever way the air is going to blow, I'm hoping the new cooler will help. It, it may only take the temperature down 10 degrees rather than 20 degrees, but it's also half the price. And it's also just a little bit shorter. It's not so high. So I know you know what that means. I just, I'm just trying to clarify. So it's a little bit shorter than the stock cooler. And because it's a mini ITX case... Not all mini ITX cases are the same, but the way this one is designed is it's got room for a full size PSU, and that PSU kind of slides in over the top of the motherboard. So the stock cooler is is right beneath that, so it's having to draw air in past the PSU. So the new cooler being a, that little bit shorter, the airflow is going to be that little bit better. So I'm hoping the compromise will actually work out because. It, you know, it, it might only be a 10 degree drop however it's a 10 degree drop, drop plus a darn sight better airflow and of course the shorter cooler means that the big fan I put on the front to give it because I, I added that in as well um, so I knew I was only putting the stock cooler back on but I did actually invest in a um, in the full fan so basically it came with two fans one big fan at the front and one extractor fan at the side the case uh, when I bought it and um, there was an optional third fan slot to put behind where the hard disks go uh, and now it's it's not optional now now I bought a fan to mount to that so there's now basically two fans at the front of the case one extractor fan at the back um, so it's pulling air through and given that the cooler is shorter there's more room for that air to go over the top of the processor so Jacob was thinking of the one that stands upright with a side-mounted fan. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know what you mean. Like the downdraft ones, I did look at those, just couldn't find one that was that uh, that suited me. Good gosh, I've only just got in yet. Give me a break. Is that a teammate? Wow. Anyway, uh, sorry, that was just, that distracted me a sec. Um, general rule, rule of thumb, it blows in the direction you can see the fan wire from. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Well, yeah, the fan's on the top, so I don't know. I don't know. That's something I'm going to check, actually. Um, so yeah, exhaust fan at the back and two intakes in the front. It's, a, it's an Elite, Elite Cooler Master 120, the case, I think, uh, which was quite cool, because I, I, I used to go to Maplin a lot, so Maplin was... Uh, an electronic shop. It's still available online, uh, but it used to be like an actual shop you could go into in the UK. And I lament its closure a lot. Um, 
Because lots of people said, oh, you can always get stuff cheaper online. Yeah, but I preferred to go into an actual shop and, and see it. Uh, see what I was buying. Uh, and also, they would quite often have ludicrous offers on. So sometimes, if you got things at the right time, you got them way cheaper than you could get them online. It's just, you had a limited selection. You, know? you, you, you were limited then to what happened to be on offer. But, yeah, I got this case for a lot cheaper than it probably should have been and it's actually still rated as a really good case even though this one's seven years old so that's quite cool because normally i'm way behind the times. uh so yeah it's basically now got like a turbo on the it's a very quiet gentle turbo but there's two massive intake fans on the front because uh, the other thing as well i was conscious of is that when i went for my uh, that's the other thing i did i uh I had a choice between getting an SSD and, you know, like a modest SSD and another hard disk. That was my budget and I was sticking to my budget. Um, no, I'm out, am I? Okay. I can chat then. Uh, they didn't They didn't recover me. I don't know what happened, but I'm not in anymore. Respawn timed out. So that that's me done for this match. No, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, where was I? Uh, yeah, uh, because uh, so I had a choice between a modest SSD, as I say, and, uh, and another hard disk, just as uh, a mass storage thing. Or the mad idea was I had three SATA slots, free, because one of them was taken up by the uh, CD drive, uh, the DVD drive, which is actually SATA as well, um, and has to be actually because this mini mini ITX motherboard's only got SATAs on it, so it couldn't you couldn't have uh, put it in the traditional SATA slot anyway. Um, and so I had three SATA slots left, and I I found a six terabyte hard drive. And then I looked and I thought I could get three six terabyte hard drives for cheaper than I think actually it was cheaper than the one SSD. And I just thought to myself, well look. SSD, huge advantages. Loading times. Not to mention loading times. You know, yes, I get all the advantages of the SSD. It's almost certainly the right choice a lot of the time. But I had the choice between, was it a terabyte SSD or maybe a two terabyte SSD if I really splashed out? And three six terabyte drives. Yes, yeah. Three six times. So, because I was doing video editing, and I thought, and also I'm planning on recording streams and things, so I'm 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 now not worried about any space. <laughs> so this is how, I, and I thought to myself, look, I can mitigate not having the SSD by having three independent channels to send stuff to. So basically, I've got the main OS drive. <laughs> I know, why would you ever need that much storage for a desktop? Um, I probably don't, but I think. The thing is, it's been so long since I splashed out on a new hard drive that I thought to myself, well, look, I might build a new computer. If I build a new computer, that's almost certainly going to have an SSD in it, no question about it. But that's going to be some time. It's going to cost a lot of money because prices of things have gone up in general. Uh, just, I think... Um, I don't know. I don't know. You know, the, the, the capacities and the capabilities gone up dramatically as well. So you're getting what you pay for, but at the same time, that these are high prices compared to what anything I'm used to. So if I build a new computer, it's going to be a long way away. This is going to be my main computer for a long while yet. But um, I thought to myself, still, this computer will be a great, you know, a great backup computer if and when it becomes such, um, or possibly like a, a streaming computer I could use alongside a gaming computer. When, when the games invariably get uh, better than my graphics card and system again. Um, and But this then will be like a supersized NAS. <laughs> plus capable of being a backup streaming computer. Plus, backup, uh, plus capable of being a backup main PC. So if the new fangled thing I build goes wrong, I've got that one. Um, but and I, and I know it's excessive. But the price was really great, and I just thought I'm gonna take advantage of this now because I, I was running out of space on my other PC, and yeah. <laughs> so what I've got now, um, yeah, so one one drive for OS and documents, which is about <laughs> 0.1% full. 
Uh, one for games, which... Actually, yeah, that, let's have a look. I haven't had a look at uh, how much storage I've taken up. Uh, so, yeah, one game for OS and miscellaneous. One game just dedicated for games. And the point is, it's not necessarily the space I need. It's the fact it's on a separate channel. So whenever it's loading games, it's not also using the same hard drive for either capturing the stream, which is on the third one, I didn't explain it. So, so OS, games, and video, basically. That's how I've set them up. So the video drive, let's have a look. Because I've just recorded without even looking at how much space I've got left. So the OS drive at the moment has got 4.89 terabytes free. <laughs> or 5.45. So it's a 6 terabyte drive, but obviously it counts it differently. So that's 6 terabytes in terms of um, each terabyte being 1,000 gigabytes and each gigabyte being 1,000 megabytes. Uh, and then when Windows measures it, it's probably measuring it as 1,024 per whatever um so it's 4.89 terabytes free of 5.45 and then the game drive has got 5.16 terabytes free of 5.45 and uh the video drive and i've been capturing a couple of months of streams i've only streamed once a week for most of that but uh 5.25 terabytes free of 5.45 so yeah oh totally excessive i'm not normally excessive like that but what i thought to myself is Oh my gosh, this this price right now is fantastic. It's like a one-shot thing. I will never need to buy another hard drive for the next five years, is is how I thought about it. Um, but also, you know, I had a two terabyte drive in there. Uh, part of it also was that the two terabyte was was kind of enough. But it, I just discovered that the drive I bought way back when, because remember I was buying stuff in Maplin on offer. So if I saw an offer, I went for it. Um, so it was a Western Digital Green drive, and I thought, well, that sounds cool, and it's cheap. Uh, but later research reveals that it's actually, like, it's only really meant for archiving, so it was really sluggish in terms of doing anything. And I thought, I don't know if it'll make that much of a difference, but when I put these new hard drives in, one would have been enough. It's not the fastest drive. It's SATA 2, not SATA 3. So the computer is SATA 2, not SATA 3. The drive is SATA 3, um, I think think so um so it's not running at its fastest so i thought am i you know am i wasting capacity here somehow by getting a sata 3 drive on a sata 2 system but oh my gosh it flies um compared to what it was doing how long it was taking to load up so that basically proved the theory it was hard drive lag um because these drives it says they're only really meant for archiving you try and write data to them at any speed whatsoever there's nothing wrong with them they're good drives but they're cheap for a reason uh the western digital green so these ones that are in there now are toshiba p300s i think i can't remember i might have made that up entirely i don't think it's x i don't think they're x300s i won't drop out a game um right now um Gosh, I don't know where to go. Let's wait for a few people to drop off first and try and be strategic about it. I'm going to go there. Where's he gone? <laughs> oh, there's people coming in behind us. I could have landed just next to some supply crates, couldn't I? Sorry, guys. Um, well, there might be something in here. Oh, great. Yeah, I see you. I see you. I see you. Got no weapons, though, but, mate. Oh, crumbs. Well, it was worth a try, wasn't it? <laughs> I can't ping when I'm down, can I? No. Sorry, lost lost the other guy. Should have recovered him first, maybe. Um, but yeah, I, I'm. I think I'm quite happy as well. And I, I just, I don't know. I got a bit of an obsession as well with. Uh, 
you know, most people are frustrated if they have to compromise on on um, on upgrades and things. But I really like the fact. I really like when I can take a computer up to its maximum. So I've upgraded the maximum, you know, because I'm doing it now, rather than back when I got it. Um, stuff for this computer is now a lot cheaper. So I've gone up to maximum RAM that it will ever be able to take, which I think is 16 gig. Um, and I've got the maximum, not necessarily the maximum capacity, but the maximum amount of hard disks that I'll ever be able to take. And the processor, by putting in the i7-3770, um, it could only take up to a third generation Intel Core processor. Um, and so by doing that, I've ended up um, maxing out the processor as well. The graphics card could easily have been a better graphics card. There's only 15 seconds left of this dummy's big day, so I don't think it's going to let me play another match. This has been a bit of a theme thing, this uh, this dummy's big day below me here. Um, it's being fun, yeah. But I'm going to lose my advantage now <laughs> of, uh, of, being, of enemies being luminous, although uh, the advantage I gain is that I'm not luminous. Um... But yeah, what I found is people ended up getting kind of confused. Oh, new mode. Right, so it... it okay. Go on then. Let's do it. Um, I thought Dummy's Big Day was ending, but it was just that particular level in Dummy's Big Day was ending. So, cool. Get to carry on then. Let's go. Um, yeah, so I, like I said, I, li I like the fact... That this computer now, there's, there's a sort of seren, seren, serenity, serenity, uh, or serendipity. What's the word I'm looking for? No, serendipity is peacefulness, I suppose. I don't know. Um, I don't think that's the word I was looking for anyway. But I like, I just like the fact that I've taken this computer to the best it can ever be. It can never be better than this, aside from the graphics card. You could argue. Both the RAM slots are full. All the hard disk slots are full. Yes, the capacity could go up, but you're right. 18 terabytes. I don't need any more. But also, then I was thinking, well, these are SATA 3 drives. They could go into a new computer um, if I want them to. But, yeah, no, I, I, I like the fact this is a portable thing. You know, I, I was watching Harris Hall's videos about uh, he was building a PC. Oh, you've got to watch that. Uh, Kenzie, his partner. Um... <laughs> So he said, for fun, I'm going to let my wife build it. And um, he was tutoring through, tutoring her through building it. But the, the funniest bit, uh, spoiler alert, but the funniest bit is because uh, she starts facing the camera and doing doing Harris Heller in front of Harris Heller, who's her husband. I know, but, and, and, oh, she had it down to a T. It was perfect. And it was just like, oh, my gosh. You've really been watching your husband's streams, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, or videos on YouTube. Um, so, oh, it was brilliant. But but what he was doing... Oh, sorry. Where did I lose you? I've, confu I've confused you now. Jacob, tell me tell me, tell me what... Uh, I, I know I waffle a lot. It literally could have been anything with me. Um... Hmm? <laughs> uh, it's a nice compliment, but I'm not sure it's deserved. But yeah, Jacob's saying you're good. Yeah. <laughs> is, uh, is that is that I am good? Or I'm good, like, it's okay, I get it now. You're good. <laughs> I don't know. It's just strange all this waiting around again. It's like, yeah, I can see, I see it in loads of games. Ah, uh, oh, fair enough. Yeah, there's some ambient noise on my end, so I'm not going to be able to follow 100%, but it's nice chilling and following as well as I can. Um, have you got builders in the next door, like I've had? <laughs> uh, well, I say builders, no. N new neighbours come in, they're, they're lovely, and they've been really considerate, and they're not doing anything now, don't worry. This is uh, We've just gone midnight here in the UK. Um, but yeah, every so often I'll hear a bit of drilling, and uh, it's fine. Oh, I've just made myself the most luminous colour I possibly could. Um, 
Yeah, no, cheers for sticking with me, and I will uh, hope to recreate what you've missed in this game. Come on, let's, let's get the positivity going. I'm probably only going to go till about half past as well, so let's give it a half hour more. Because I've got plenty of energy, I'm enjoying it, but I do have work in the morning, so this can't... Things cannot... Oops! <laughs> things cannot return to uh, my old college days of getting so lost in the game that... Uh, I'm, and my dad used to work nights at the time as well, so... He would regularly get home four or five in the morning, and there was one time where I had college the next day. I think he ended up getting home at six in the morning or something. Um, I was completely oblivious. I was in-game. I was quite happy. Didn't feel tired at all for some reason this day. Well, that's being a teenager, I guess. Uh, that wears off pretty quickly. <laughs> you start getting older. Um, and you don't have to be that old for it to start wearing off. Literally, <laughs> there's like a peak in teenagerhood, and then... And then you're stuffed. Um, oh my got some ammo. Fab. No gun to go with it. Okay. Talk. Somebody actually left something for me. Um, but yeah, I heard the door go in. It was Dad back. I thought it was like... Half past twelve? One in the morning? Um, nope. It was like, yeah, well, it was like six in the morning. Crazy o'clock. Hmm. Is that my teammate there? I hope it was. So I'm about to walk into a, uh, a level up. Um, and yeah, I had college to get ready for it like that for seconds. <laughs> I just kept going. Um, didn't sleep. Just went to college the next day. This can't be like that. One, it's not college. You know, if, if I'm performing p poorly in college or uni, that's... That's my fault. It's my responsibility to do better as well. You know, you, you don't do that. So you've got to commit to your studies. But I just mean that it's like, well, that's that's, that's my fault. But work? No. I, I'm fully committed to work. Cheap shot, sorry, but... Oh. up everything. Maybe that's not to stay there. Attack. I don't know how I got out of that. Somebody was firing at me from the side. One of my teammates must have got him. Um, so, Jacob saying no construction, just... Uh, oh, sorry, no construction. I emphasised that wrong. Uh, just... Other people watching stuff and listening to music nearby. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I did try once listening to a comedy show. Um, and <laughs> I was listening to a comedy show while watching a soap, basically. It, it, it didn't work out. I, I just missed all the jokes. And missed half the episode as well. <laughs> so I understand fully, don't worry. Um, if you miss anything. Well, there's nothing to miss yet. And guaranteed, not, not because of you, just because this is the way the world works. Uh, if anything amazing happens, guaranteed it'll be when you're not looking. In fact, maybe that's it. I'll have to ask you to look away. Then something amazing will happen. And then when you look back, you'll be like, see? See? I was awesome just then. <laughs> uh, 
a thank you. I don't know what I'm thanking you for, but uh, I'm thanking you for something. Right, keep an eye out now. This is what I keep doing. I keep sort of getting lulled into false sense of security. Everything's quiet. Everything's fine. And I, I keep forgetting to actually look out. I think that's my biggest problem. So the reason I don't see any enemies is because I'm not looking for any enemies. Oh yeah, I see them. I see them. Just went scarper in that way. They're gonna come round back at me. Yeah. Ah, flat. Ah, that's too slow. I should have done the syringe and, and ran, but instead I just walked slowly. Oh. That's going to be the squad eliminated, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's getting tougher. I think it's getting tougher because I'm going up in skill level, maybe, I don't know. Uh, currently, uh, Jacob's currently tweezering lots and lots of dust out of a heat sink. You might find the spider if you keep looking. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Just when you'd calm down. I wasn't trying to be cruel. Um, but yeah, I I took some photos of my of my computer repair. I haven't put them all up yet. Um, repair? It wasn't broken. My, my uh, upgrade. But uh, yeah, when you when I took some nice atmospheric close up shots, and I realised, oh my gosh, this is dusty. But I didn't. I, I had the alcohol. I thought of maybe giving it a wipe over, but I thought I don't want to do it wrong. I was scared of doing it wrong or using a cloth that built up static or something because, yeah. So I went round with a... Oh, do you know what I did do? Um, I needed compressed air. I didn't have compressed air. But then I thought, hang on. An empty one of those containers that you use for spraying the garden. And this was completely empty, by the way. No water had ever been in it. If you pump those up, free compressed air. Sorry, I know. Ah, why would you bring it up? The, the S word. Mm, sorry. I said it without thinking, and it was too late. It had already left my mouth. I apologise. Um, but, yeah, free compressed air. Obviously not as powerful as a proper compressed air canister, um, but... That was good in this case, because actually when the new processor arrived, I was going to do a whole video on this, I was terrified because I, I, I'd I bought it on eBay. Uh, there were some on eBay that clearly were missing pins, or at least the pins were burnt or whatever, and I was just looking and thinking, well, I'm not buying that. And they were all going for around the same price. But basically I thought I'd, I was, I'd, I'd missed out on a few of them on auction, and then I saw this one. And I made an offer on it because there was an opportunity to make an offer. And I thought, I'm going for this then. I'm going for it. Take a punt. Make a, a reasonable uh, offer. And it was accepted straight away. I thought, yeah, pay now, done. Uh, look pristine. And it is, in case they're watching. I'm sure they're not. But this is what I was going to say at the start of the video as well. In case you're watching, don't worry. Because I wouldn't like them to think I was bad-mouthing them. It's, it's perfect. It's, it's in the computer right now. It's working flawlessly. Um... Pins on it looked absolutely pristine. Top of it was clean. Either they cleaned it for me, I don't know, but you know, it was it was lovely. Really nice processor. Really pristine processor. Really good quality. Really uh, you know, in good in good, in, uh, good nick. Then I'm trying to say, um, no missing pins. And then after I clicked buy, I just went, "What's that?" And I was looking, like, in between, you know, like, the the little components inside, in, in, in the core of the processor. You've got the pins around the outside. It's an LGA1155 uh, processor. That's the model. That's the uh, pin, chip, whatever you call it, <laughs> the pin configuration. Um, so you've got the pins in an array all around the outside, although they're not really pins. They're pads in this case. Um, so I should have said, yeah, the, pans, the pads were fine. Uh, then there's the little surface mount devices in the centre bit. And there was like this little fleck of something. And it was after I'd already paid for it. And I went, oh, God. Oh, what's that? 
I've got something leaked. That's not good. So, uh, when I got the processor, got the camera up really close, and my phone camera, to be fair to it, is, is, it wasn't quite a microscope, but it was plumbing good. I mean, it, it, you know, it made the processor look like a city on the screen. It was cool. So I was zooming in, looking around, trying to work out what this thing was. And uh, there were lots of different schools of thought. I got some help from the Twitch. Um, well, it was called something else at the time. Uh, from the Twitch Discord that I was part of. And uh, one of them said, it's probably a bit of dust, don't worry. It's probably a bit of lens flare on the camera. Uh, and then somebody else said, um, uh, oh, you know, it, it might be a leaky component. So I thought, oh gosh, I don't know, I don't know. What have I done? But it's too late now, I've bought it. I'll just have to send it back and say it's not working. If there are any problems, or I didn't want to risk it in my machine, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, so like I say, I was looking up with the camera, just zooming in from the front. Oh gosh, it looks like a component's exploded. Oh, it looks really bad. And then I looked from the side and I thought, oh, well it's, it's, it's between the components. So, I thought, well, that, that's a bit odd if it's if it's leaky. Um, so, that was a good call, right? Let's go there again. Because um, that's the thing; you got to just get a weapon as quickly as possible. Anything will do. that for them if they want it so um yeah i looked from the side and it looked like something some bit of grit because i have to remember the scale of it as well it's like remember this is not quite microscopic but pretty small um you know remember that your sense of scale here that's not a gigantic leak that looks like a bit of grit uh, even looks like you know like the recycled cardboard packaging you get that that lumpy stuff it's pretty cool but i can't I, i'm not i just don't know how to describe it um and i thought it even looks like a bit of that so i got my uh my homebrew handmade uh, free compressed air <laughs> and uh give it a puff got the camera back zoomed in it was gone so I was panicking over nothing, but yeah, it honestly looked like a massive exploded component. And when I, once I blew that away, looked all around, absolutely pristine processor. Yeah, I don't think it could have been better treated. So again, that's another reason why I wanted to get this other cooler, because it'd be a huge shame if I mistreat it after it's been treated so well. Um, so... Machine 2 with Jacob is functional. It has a Core 2 Quad Q6600 and 3 gig of RAM. 3 gig of RAM is not bad. Especially with a Core 2 Duo in it. That's, uh, I'd say that's quite a lot of RAM. More than I'd expect, perhaps, for a Core 2 Duo. But, uh, what are you planning to do with all these computers, Jacob? Have you got a plan for them, like um, set them up as, as servers or, or something? Fourteen squads left. It's the rest of my team. And why do I feel like I'm crouching? I'm obviously not, but I feel like I'm really low down on the ground for some reason. This is it just that I'm getting used to the game now and my eyes have gone funny? I don't know. Oh, the champion's been eliminated. That means we've got a blooming nightmarish squad to beat. Because the champion's been beat. Where are you? Hmm. 
This is where it's got a lot in common with Hyperscape. There's a lot of waiting around even in game there and squads uh, far apart. I mean, that was partly my choice. I, I put us here, I was the jump leader. Um, oh, wow. Well, that could be either an embarrassment or a treasure trove. I, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. I'm intrigued to find out what's in there. I love watching these videos where old computers are found as well. And Yeah, so Jacob's saying, oh, wow, not only did this person leave the hard drives in, but they didn't even have a password on the machine. Yeah. Cool. Is that a charge rifle? No. Vault. Looks pretty cool. Where have we gone again? Z Colin. Oh, here we go. Should be able to see you. It's just because the ring's going to close in. Yeah. Oh, uh, d I mean, don't let, don't tell me their password or their identity, obviously, but. Um, <laughs> Do tell me what you find. I'm intrigued to find out. What's that? Treasure pack. I don't know what it is, but it sounds cool. Hmm. We have to play that one. Right. Nice. Okay, fine. Ooh, don't know if that's a good thing or not. Depends what the movies are, I suppose. Um, lots of pirated movies on this computer that Jacob's found. Hmm. I mean, I know that was a big thing back in the day, the minute uh, we had all the PSP software and things. I, I, I I'd have had to leave my computer on, it would have cost electricity anyway, so I wouldn't have done it. But, uh, also, I was on this deal where you paid a certain amount per month for the internet when it was on dial-up, um, and it would disconnect every two hours, so it would have been pointless me leaving the computer on overnight. So, so not, not only for uh, legal and moral reasons did I not download loads of movies, but I know a friend of mine just used to leave the computer on all the time. Had the, like, premium deal, and it was just, yeah. They were boasting about how they always had the latest movies and things. <laughs> I'm not going to mention any names. Of them, I mean, not the movies, but... Um, yeah, they, they, like, they were about ten years ahead of their time and being very illegal. I just mean, they, they, they had the big TV and they had a computer rigged up to the TV before we had things like Chromecast and um, smart TVs and things like that. They basically had made their own. It's cool. To a point. I'm not I'm not advocating the illegality of it, I just mean. Um something I feel like something's coming. Yeah, okay. Okay, got it. Oh yeah, and also don't assume that the ping means that's where the enemy actually is. It's a rough location, but obviously the enemy's moving. Let's also not forget something could be right behind me. Check that actually. If I get better at my defensive play. What's the highlights on the movies? up here. Dash. 
I knew somebody would sneak up behind me. I just knew it. It's just too good to be true, that. Uh, right, seven more minutes. Got to be strict to myself. But hey, first for the stream. It's going to be the first three-hour stream I've ever done. Normally only do two and a bit hours at maximum, sometimes an hour. But then we did have a break to get some more water and I'm running out of water now that's my why my voice is going lower and quieter maybe I'm just talking too loud I don't need to talk like I'm talking on the radio all the time I can just like turn the mic up and talk at normal volume so there we go one more game then it's been a good night overall though really good night for me in terms of personal skill advancement and yeah so I'm not going to let that happiness, you know, be jaded by being eliminated. Oh, I didn't see him. I didn't see what position we were in. Dash, I'll have to watch it back myself. Jacob, did you happen to see what position we finished in? I didn't. I didn't even look. Uh, the whole squad. Right then, might might make for a quicker game. No, it's okay if you didn't. I didn't either. It's just... <laughs> I, I just missed it. And, uh, yeah. Never mind. Could probably just... I don't know. No, it's, is it too late for a clip? No, it probably is. Yeah, because by the time I get onto it, it'll probably crash the stream as well if I try and do that. Uh, let's close that. Waiting now to join one more game, the last game of the night. Let's see if we can make it a good one. I'd say that last game was pretty good strategically. Uh, Jacob's saying, to be honest, not a whole lot of interest in Apex, but you seem like a cool dude. Oh, cheers. So I'm hanging in here and listening while I work on these computers. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I used to play FPSs a lot, but... Would I say I was big into them? Not necessarily. It's just what everybody else was playing at the time that I knew. And I was rubbish at it. I, you know, so uh, the idea of Tryout Tuesday is I'm going to be trying out lots of different things. Um, I'm not going to just stick to FPS games because what I thought is if I do Tryout Tuesday and it's just FPS games and then I end up doing FPS Friday every now and then, then that's like... Try out Tuesday and FPS Friday, both the same thing. So I am going to try and, yeah, play what you want, try things. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, he says I'm not judging or anything. No, but I just mean this is not an 8 bex in the stream because I know it's a saturated game. I know loads of people play it. Uh, me coming out and saying, I'm trying something new, guys. It's Apex Legends. It's like saying, it's like saying, I don't know, uh, I've just discovered jam on sandwiches. It's just like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, we know. It exists, of course, you know. I've just discovered toast, everybody. It's amazing. It's like, I'm, not, I'm not comparing Apex Legends to toast. <laughs> toast is good, though. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not an FPS gamer. This is just, I'm deliberately trying things on Tuesday that are way beyond my comfort level and skill level. Uh, Thursday, then, is Throwback Thursday, where I'm going into the nostalgia and games that I totally know how to play, or so I think. Um, <laughs> some of the game, some of the... Um, <laughs> some of the ways that I've been playing, you'd think I'd never seen the game before in my life. Uh, but... Yeah, the idea is then that's that's comfort zone. That's me going back to my past, uh, playing some Game Boy and Sega Master System games. Um, oh, we're not in dummy mode. What's happening here? One of us isn't in dummy mode. Sounds very odd. Um, let's go for purple this time. Oh. Oh, well, that was a disappointing last game. Yeah, well, I know there was a server error because it let me pick a player that wasn't a dummy. Um, oh, it let, sorry, it let the first person pick a player that wasn't a dummy. So that was that was a bit rubbish. Um, Jacob's saying, sure, I am... Oh, 
I'm trying to branch out and try a wider range of games myself. Yeah, I mean, I never would have thought this was a game I could play, but I, I like this compared to other FPSs I've tried. I've played, tried one other so far. But I, I like the fact, as I've said before, possibly, um, that I actually feel like I get a game out of this one. Whereas when I've been playing Hyperscape, I don't really get a game out of it. I get to explore the level, and it's cool, and I get to pick up some things. I get to do some test shots, and then... The end. I don't even get a chance to improve my skill in that game at the moment because it's so fast-paced. Uh, I, I, maybe I'll get better. Whereas this one, you've got a bit of tactics going on. You've got a bit of teamwork. You've got time to explore before you have to uh, really get into it. Um, so there's a lot going on. So I like it for that. Um, but I'm not like obsessed about Apex Legends or anything. Uh, some people are. There's nothing wrong with that either. Um, but yeah, I haven't really found a new game that I'm obsessed by right now to that level. Um, that's quite hooked me in the way that maybe Quake did way back when. Or um, or the, the classic scrollers, really. You know, more than happy playing a classic scroller. Um something where again you, you don't just die straight away you you've got a you've got half a chance if you're um even if you're an amateur of doing something uh so yeah i think now that i've actually graduated to being able to do something in this game it's not a try out tuesday game anymore it is um an fps friday game or an in my own time game or an unannounced stream game just just for fun um so we do need a new game for Tryout Tuesday. So unless I think of one, you're more than welcome to suggest one, Jacob or anybody else. Um, but I'm not necessarily going to spend a lot of money on games. I, I do buy some, but at the moment I'm mainly concentrating on ones I can get for free. Or a massive discount. I bought Euro Truck Simulator 2, but I don't have a driving wheel yet. I'm thinking about it. I am thinking about it. I at first said, no, you're not getting the driving wheels myself, but now it's like, mm, I don't know, it could be fun. But also part of my brain, I guess, is saying, why, you've got a car, <laughs> why, why do you want a car, <laughs> why do you want to bring the car in front of the computer with you? <laughs> oh, oh, you know, um, when I was learning to drive, it was all the novelty, the novelty's worn off now. I, 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 I do enjoy driving sometimes, but sometimes it's stressful. So, yeah, why why would I want to bring that into my safe haven, into mission control? <laughs> well, maybe that's it. It is a safe haven. You can drive without consequence, although not without consequence, because you get fines in your truck simulator uh, for speeding and stuff. So it amazes me. Like, I was watching one game the other day, um, and there were, like, people in a, in a full lorry convoy all radioing each other, and... They weren't in character. It wasn't a role-playing thing as such, but they were all as if they genuinely were all truckers talking to each other. And I just thought, this is kind of... There's something beautiful about it. It's kind of kind of strange in some ways, but it's like... Because we're all in lockdown and stuff, I won't go on too much about it, but because we're all in lockdown, it's like we're finding new ways of of feeling like we're not. And, and it's sort of... For want of a better word, it's like immersive escapism. Because I think what I never used to like... We used to have, um, go to this local pub a lot and people used to come along with Game Boys and stuff and it and it was you know it was okay and I was glad they were having fun but it was like it was just like having people on their phones you didn't really know what was going on you couldn't see the screen and they were all playing with each other <laughs> so to speak and so you just weren't part of it and you felt like you didn't want to interrupt and it was just awkward and, and, I, and I just didn't like it very much. And it's like, literally, the conversation would stop. The Game Boys would come out, and you'd just kind of go... Okay, I'll go and get a drink then. Uh, whereas on here, it seems to be... You know, that's what's good about it. Is that you might be in the game, but you're facing out to two people. You're not... Well, um... Depends if I'm, you know, if I'm really concentrating in the game. Yeah, maybe I'm not necessarily looking outwards. But does that make sense? Do, do you know what I mean? So actually, people who are watching feel part of it. Whereas when I'm watching people with the Game Boys, it's like I don't, I don't, I don't feel part of this. I don't really get what's going on. 
They're not explaining anything. They're just... Oh, God, I'm the jump master again. No, I don't want to be the jump master. Where did I go last time? Okay, I'm trying a different strategy this time. I'm going for the get in quick before anybody else strategy and hope to goodness there's nobody behind me. Because I didn't look. I see a supply crate. So it's a good pick for me. I don't know about everybody else, but it's done me well. Well, there should be enough supply crates for everybody, so... We're good. But it this way, I'm not being the one left without everything. Anymore. I'm going to try not to be. Because that's just ridiculous. I've got people with ridiculous amounts of weaponry and I've got, like, my hands. <laughs> you know. Come on. Hello? Yeah. Okay. Second lap. Okay, so last game. Let's make it good. Let's get some of that. What's that? Havoc rifle. Oh, that sounds cool. I don't think that's the one I wanted to swap for that. I think it's that one you wanted to swap for that. Sorry, just looking around for where the other people are. None of the ammo I pick up seems to be actual select fire receiver. What's that? I haven't got a clue what that was, and it said it pressed B, but I missed it. Oh, God. Right, enemies. Hmm, maybe that was an accidental ping, because I don't see anybody. Uh, Roger collect a treasure pack. Uh, Jacob, do you have any uh, any preference for games that you would like to see on stream? Given that, th I mean, to be fair, this is the first stream of mine you've seen. <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't necessarily know what else. Uh, well, I've said about the throwback Thursday and the console games and stuff, but again, that might be old PC games. Because um, what happened was when I started mentioning that, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's normally the other way around. You know, normally you start speaking and everything goes quiet. So that's interesting. Uh, Jacob says, I heard my name, but things suddenly got very loud. Yes, I was just asking if there's any game that you wanted to see on stream. But also, to be fair, you don't know much about me or what I stream, so <laughs> you don't necessarily know what to pick. But, um, yeah, since I mentioned that I was starting... Oh, gosh, I've lost my team completely now. Oh, there they are. Um, since I mentioned I was going to start on Twitch, just loads of people just came out of, I don't want to say came out of the woodwork because they're friends I talked to them but I've never talked to them about gaming because I wasn't a gamer in inverted commas because I don't know for one reason or another I just fell away from it completely and uh, just never really played games because my computer wasn't up to it or various reasons or I couldn't afford them or whatever and now, now it's a lot better because like, well, this game is completely free so you can actually get gaming now as long as you've got a computer, I don't necessarily, uh, not necessarily talking about streaming, you, you can get gaming and it's uh, democratised it, isn't it? Yeah, so that's good. Um, but, um, yeah, I had people... Um, recommend me games and, and, a, and a website as well where you can get abandonware, so games that are now um, PC games that are so old, not necessarily only PC games, um, that, like, you know, they've been abandoned, they're abandonware, so I might play some of those. Uh, Jacob's saying you like retro stuff, right? Any interest in Star Wars, Dark Forces? I had Star Wars Dead Jedi Knight 2. And I have seen... Uh, ah, Star Wars Dark Forces is the one that's free, isn't it? So, yeah, I might go for that. It's a good call. Good shout. 
So is that next Tuesdays then? Is it anything like Jedi Knight 2? Because that's the only one I play. I just had like this multi-pack given to me as a present. And it was uh, Jedi Knight 2... G Police, which I think is when I found in Abandoned Ware. Um, that might be good, but I don't know if it's better than what I've got, because I don't know enough about the weapons I've got. So let's stick to what I've got for fun. That one I abandoned might have been better, but I've never tried these ones, so... I'm going to stick with what we got. Uh, Jedi Outcast was amazing, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was the one, yep. Yeah. So, okay. They've gone. <laughs> Gosh. Ah. Can't even do this now. <laughs> God's sake. Right, jump and then press E. Hey, there you go. Third time lucky. Um Dark Forces has a special place in my heart, even though it's basically a Doom clone. Ah, but is that why though? Maybe that's why. Sorry guys, I just couldn't get onto the rope. Come on, I've only just mastered how to... Well, I haven't mastered anything, actually, in this game. Um, I've only just managed to do something of substance. Yeah, that's a good shout. I'm, I, I saw it come up in Steam. And I will grab it, so maybe... That'll be next Tuesday, because, again, I, d I don't want... It's not like a... <laughs> it's not like a marketing thing that I don't want the stream to be predictable or anything. It's like, it, you know, or some sort of one-upmanship. I don't, I don't, I don't want my Tuesday stream to become too predictable. No, I, I just mean that I really do want it to be trying out new stuff. Yeah. Oh, why are you shooting at me? <laughs> to be fair, I was also shooting at you, but. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 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 the good guy uh, on your team anyway. Right, good. You did all the hard work, but I helped in the end. So there we go. What the heck? Oh, it's a pinata. <laughs> Fun. Right. Unfortunately, what we've now done is also just left all those weapons for somebody else to pick up and come after us with, but never mind. Um, Jacob was saying about, <coughs> about Star Wars Dark Forces, oh, I just think it's a really cool game. Lots of secrets in weird places, wonderful level design, a wide variety of cool weapons for different play styles. I am sold, and I'm also being shot at. Black from a grenade. Oh, the ring is coming in. Let's get out of here. Shoot, friendly fire. Ah. Get him quick. Yes. I'm behind you. I'm behind you. Hey. Hey, come over here. We both. We both need your help. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, oh no. Eighth place isn't bad, though. Got some damage, but I'm getting worse. Well, I had less to shoot at, I suppose. I've got to, I've got to take that into, an account, into account. But yeah, I'm sold. Let's, uh, let's make a note in the log. That um, next Tuesday's stream will be... Star Wars Dark Forces for Try Out Tuesday. I'm also I, I'm, I'm I'm saying schedule quietly because like last time I planned to schedule it fell apart, so I don't want to I don't want to jinx it. But hopefully, hopefully next Tuesday. Hopefully. 
let's let's stick with that. Uh, nine thirty p.m. UK time, which is currently BST, British Summer Time, um, which is GMT plus one. Uh, just having a look in the in the thing of me, thing of my jig. Uh, Discord group. Just to see if anybody replied to the message. Just have a look. Because I'm gonna have to start thinking about who to raid. I mean, I'm. I've just clicked to do another match and um, gone 15 minutes past what I said I was going to do. Okay, absolute cut off, 1 o'clock. I'd have been awake anyway. I would have been awake anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, Jacob's saying if you want to stream Star Wars Dark Forces, you'll probably want to fire it up ahead of time and remap some of the keys in DOSBox. In DOS box? Why am I why am I doing it in DOS box? Find what's comfortable for you. Oh, is it like Am I mixing it up with something else? I thought I just saw it in Steam. Sorry, I, I, I mixed it up. I thought sure there was a Star Wars game in Steam now. I won't fire it up now because it'll crash the stream probably because it'll try and download everything. Uh, I thought there was a Star Wars game that was free now on Steam. A new game. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's Star Wars Alien something then. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I just, I'm just weary of. <laughs> if I if I fire up Steam now, it'll have to very quickly pause the download because it's just because it's going to bug me now. Oh, are we in game? No. Oh. Thirty six players in queue. Um, yeah, sorry, I think I'm mixing it up with something else. I will search for it, though. Oh, Dark Forces on Steam installs with... Let's cancel that, then. Uh, installs with DOSBox as a dependency. All right, so it, that, well, that's quite neat, though, that they've linked it in like that. That is quite neat. I like that. Um, so it is a retro game, but they've sort of packaged it up on Steam. Very cool. Very, very cool. I, I think that's the way forward. I mean, you can see you, you can watch people play Nintendo Switches and the emulator's all built in, so yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll look into that. Cheers for the heads up. Um, but yeah, the main thing is just to make sure it downloads in time, because last week's Apex Legends stream <laughs> ended up not being an Apex Legends stream. It ended up being uh, me fumbling around for at least half of the stream trying to find something to play. Because uh, I thought, oh, right, okay, it needs about two gigabytes of uh, downloads, but I'm only an ADSL here, so... Uh, while also streaming, uh, you know, I, I know that downstream two gigabytes is nothing, but because I'm using the maximum upload just to get a video feed out of any description, um, then... I think, actually, you said your speed's not far off, if I, if I remember from the chat when I was uh, looking in your chat. Uh, so I haven't quite got anywhere near as uh, much of an upload speed as you. My downstream is probably maximum 12 megabits, and my upstream is absolute maximum 1.2. It never really hits that. For you know, it's, In practice, it's like 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So because it's using all of that, if I try and download something at the same time, it can't, it can't get the handshake requests up quick enough, and so it takes ages even for a small download. Um, so when I thought, ah, oh, okay, we'll go to a backup plan, we'll open Destiny 2, that's been sat there for ages, and because it had been sat there for ages, 89 gigabytes. It said, 15 days, it'll be playable in 15 days. Obviously I was streaming at the time, probably would have dropped down to a day or two maybe, but still, oh no, 89 gigs. Oh, it's gigs, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's probably about right. So... So it wasn't happening, basically. And this is the thing that frustrates me. There's so, you know, I understand regular updates, but why do they have to be so blinking big? Because if you just get out of the habit of doing it automatically and leaving the computer on, you suddenly find yourself unable to play a game for a week. And it's just crazy. L literally, you know, an 89 gigabyte download knocks, knocks that game out for a week. 
or if I leave the computer on for a week, maybe it'll be done in four days. I don't know. Let's go for that nice colour. Reminds me of my first CD player, that colour. It's got, it was slightly darker, but it had that effect. Um, so Jacob recommending remapping stuff for Star Wars Dark Forces, like the default keys for looking up and down, a page up and page down. Oh my gosh, when you just getting used to WASD. No. You're right, that's bonkers. Page up and page down is all the way over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Do I have to be jump master again? Don't want to be jump master. Oh. We're good. They went that way. Oh, yes. What a land. What a land. Straight for the supply crate. C guys. C guys. Guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> I think they went to get make a cuppa or something. <laughs> oh, dear me. All right. Well, this is going to be a fun one to end on. I'm going to finish on this game. What are they doing? Uh, have I now got to the point where... I don't know. Uh, uh, are they just lagging out? Or do they not know what they're doing? That's the thing. If I was in voice chat, I suppose I could ask them. That'd be a bit of a rude question, so I, w I, w I wouldn't do that. But... Oh, crumbs. Yeah, I was still slow to react. They're not going to rescue me, are they? They're just not going to. Like I don't know if they don't know what they're doing or they're lagging. I'll forgive them if they're lagging, but I, I, I just don't going to I'm going to ping the banner anyway, but they have to work out to get up there. All right, okay. They were just lagging. I think they were just lagging. They're on the go now. Or, or like I say, they just did what I was afraid to do earlier, nipped out to make a cup of... And <laughs> and then we're just like, oh, flip, we're back in. But that was funny. Well, I dealt some damage and I got a kill. So that's four tonight. Not bad. There was a bit of an easy one, and you know, it, I, I should have reacted quicker. It took me far too long, so I was just like. They're just waiting there. Like, then fire and get out of the way because there are people behind me. Yeah, I'm not. I I'm not gonna get recovered. Guys, guys, if you're not quick. Oh well, <laughs> that was that. I kind of knew that's the way that was going, but. Uh, the boy, I got one though. I got one. That's a bug. You saw, you saw me. I, I eliminated somebody. Unless somebody else got the final shot. Okay, fair enough. But uh, I, I don't know what happened there. Let's do one more. That was a short game. If that had been as long as the other game, I was going to end on that one. But we're gonna, we're gonna do a hard cut off of. One o'clock for well, I'm not just gonna switch the stream off at one o'clock, but at one o'clock, once we pass one o'clock, that's time out on the table, on the pool table, <laughs> on the apex pool table. Um, almost managed three daily goals there with uh, five knockdowns, five out of eight knockdowns. That's pretty cool. Um, haven't played any games as cost it because I've been playing this dummies uh, level all day because it's Dummy's Big Day, so I thought I'd play that because it's fun. Um, so if you've just joined, yeah, I am coming to the end of my stream, but I'm going to play one or maybe two more games. We'll see how we go on Apex Legends, and uh, it's Tryout Tuesday. So again, Apex Legends, loads of people play it. I'm new to it. Loads of people are new to it. What's different? Um, well, 
just the fact that before I started on Twitch, the last time I played an FPS game was over a decade ago. So uh, it's not this Apex Legends is not the first FPS game I've played because I've played Hyperscape before it as well. Uh, I tried Fortnite. I haven't really got into that in any uh, in any substantial way yet. Uh, but Apex Legends is probably gravitating out of Tryout Tuesday territory now because I am actually gaining some traction. I'm, I'm, I'm very much a beginner, but I am starting to gain some traction now. So Tryout Tuesday next week is looking to be Star Wars Dark Forces, thanks to Jacob's recommendation. And um, Thursday is probably going to be back to the classic Sega Master System Game Boy, uh, Nintendo Game Boy. Um, Last week I was playing Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins in glorious four colours and uh, doing not great at it, having said that, because especially as I say that the Thursday streams are like the, the, the cushy streams, the, the games that I can actually play, the games I know well. Um, you wouldn't think so sometimes, but uh, to be fair, I mean, a decade of catching up on FPSs and probably nearer, I wouldn't like to think it, but 20 years on some of these console games. Because uh, the last consoles I've ever owned have been the Nintendo Game Boy and the Sega Master System. I, I never bought one there. My sister has an Xbox, not a 360 or an Xbox One, but the original Xbox One, as in the first one. Uh, no, no, it was a 360, sorry. Uh, I'm wrong. Uh, so Xbox 360. Uh, but... That hasn't been played in a while either. I've got an Atari 800 XL somewhere. I've got an Atari 2600 somewhere. Not the cool brown one, the, re the really retro one, but the, the black thin one with the sort of wedge shape on it. Uh, I was a bit sad the other day because I managed to find one of the joysticks in bits. So it had obviously fallen down. Uh, I don't know where to go, but that looks pretty. So I'm going to go there. For no good reason other than it looked pretty from above, okay? <laughs> oh, supply crates over there, though. Hey, at least I'm getting better at spotting the supply crates. Oh, no! I didn't land you there to nick my blinking things. <laughs> well, it was worth a try. Well, <laughs> I said it'd be a fun one. Uh, what am I doing? Where, what, what the heck? <laughs> the heck was that all about? It's just floating around. <laughs> it's literally all I could do. I'm just going to keep hitting it. It's like, come on, come on. Oh, you could have easily got out of there. I know I shouldn't be judgmental because I'm not the best at this, but I swear you could have got out of there. Got the two of us back. We could have all gone back for him. Ah. Right, one more. And this will have to be the last one then for this game for tonight. And then we're going to go and raid somebody. If uh, you're up for that, any uh, particular preference as to type of games I should look for? Because I am trying to get practice with the raids. Uh, because last time I raided somebody who I wanted to raid. And I sort of wanted to um, repay the... The, the raid that they gave me in a way, but I kind of jumped in at the wrong point. I think, I don't know if they were finishing and there was like a multi-chat going on and and so I went from a stream with just me on it playing sort of uh, playing aim lab to myself to this intense whoa, so much chat going on don't know what's going on so it was my fault, I just kind of jumped in at the wrong point, I should have looked before I, before I jumped oh, excuse me um, but, um, yeah. 
So are we going for... So Logic says that I should go for something similar to Apex Legends, like an FPS or something, but I'm open to suggestions. It doesn't have to dovetail in with what I'm doing, just because just cause Logic says so. I mean, let's have a quick sneaky peek at who's actually online at the moment. Because, again, the problem I've got sometimes is that, well, one, the raid thing lies to me, for a start. Oh, wait, oh, we could actually go straight into a friend. I, I don't know at what point Etiquette says you can call fellow streamers a friend, but I think, you know, we've been... No, thank you. Pause. I'm sure it's great music, but we're not broadcasting music on the stream. Um... We just did for a second, but I stopped it, right? That's good enough. We could go straight from Apex Legends to Apex Legends and carry on the fun. Because because uh, I bought gaming is doing Apex Legends at the moment. Uh, we've got Outlast. We've got... I'm never sure how to say it. Barnacules? Barnacules? He did an interview recently on YouTube with the one and only David Hewlett of Stargate SG-1 fame. Played uh, Dr. Rodney McKay in that. Now, I, now, I'm not saying if we raid him, uh, one, he might not notice because he's got quite a lot of viewers. Uh, but that's a good channel to watch. Um, and I'm not I'm not guaranteeing that David Hewlett will be there. He probably won't be. But, um, yeah, okay. Uh, we've got... We've not, we've got many online, actually. Yeah, I seem to have hit a lull again. This is what I find happens. Whenever I want to raid, <laughs> there's not many people on. So uh, I'm not looking for alternatives to I Bought Gaming, by the way. Um, I think that'll be a good shout. But it is weird. It's like Thursday night when I went on, everybody else was also on at the same time. And it was bonkers. Like everybody I'd normally watch who's a famous streamer. <laughs> everybody I'd normally watch who's a new streamer. Everybody I'd normally watch who's an in-between streamer that but we're supporting each other. All on, all at the same time. And I just joined and made it even worse. Because then I was online as well. Yeah, no, that'll, that'll be good. And uh, sort of similar size, similar size stream. Uh, uh, very experienced, actually, I bought. Um... I think I remember him saying he's come over from Mixer. Not necessarily as part of the recent, most recent sort of forced ejection from Mixer, given that Mixer closed. Um, but I think he was on Mixer originally and then been on Twitch for a long while now. Um, occasionally he does streams on other platforms as well. So he's uh, sort of exploring the world of streaming. I know I've got a couple of friends of mine who are doing Facebook gaming and stuff. So, uh, yeah. That'll be good. It'll dovetail nicely. In fact, the, the, there's an outside chance I might encounter him in the game. That'd be quite fun. Um, but yeah, he gave me a lot of help as well. So I think it'd be nice. Give me a lot of help in terms of catching up in general with with all this FPS stuff because I'm, I've am i got so much catching up to do. I mean, there's really basic stuff that I didn't understand. Like, who are my enemies? I don't know how to tell. And it's like, well... Uh, there'll be different colours or have the names above them or whatever. But I honestly genuinely didn't know if the names came up for everybody. Um, I didn't know if that was just an in-game thing. Um, yeah, so... Obviously it's different for different games. First game... Uh, first... What was I watching him in first? Was it Apex or something else? I thought it was something else. I thought it was... Um, Cod War Zone, I think. But... Yeah. Should we do that now? Because it's taking ages to get into this game. And it's not so much ending on a high, because the last game was, well, it was what it was. Um, but it has ticked over one o'clock, so if it doesn't jump into the game right now, you watch, it will now. 50 players in queue. 53. Oh, you can't see it because I'm in front of it. Oh, we're in. Right. <coughs> so one more and I think we'll raid I bought yeah this really will have to be the last one let's make myself luminous just for fun why not oh 
Well, I wanted that colour, but I deliberately picked fluorescent highlighter yellow <laughs> again. So, fine. What, what's happening? Oh, is this going to bug out again? I've got a feeling it might. Ooh, Champion Squad's only got two players in it. Interesting. Okay, someone else is the Jump Master. Thank goodness, because I, I don't want to be the Jump Master. I landed us in chaos last time. Okay, where are we going? Good shout if you go in there. No, we're not going in there. Okay, fine. Oh. Gosh. I can't get up to there. Fine, I'll go down here then. Round one. Beginning ring countdown. Oh, they've got Oh! I've got nothing. Wow. Wow. That was fast. <laughs> Luke, you know. Maybe, maybe it's just like, maybe better players are playing later at night. I don't know. <laughs> it's hypothesis. I could just be getting worse because I'm getting tired, right? So, yeah, well, that's another reason why I'm going to have to say goodbye for now. And I hope that you will be able to join me on Thursday from 9.30 p.m. BST for our um, Throwback Thursday. And I'm open to votes as well for uh, for what game we actually play. Well, so what console, I should say. Because I'm, I'm playing games, uh, albeit through an emulator, I'm playing games that are actually in my attic somewhere. They, they are there. It's just that I can't find them right now. So, let us carry on the, uh, the Apex fun. Watch someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> Cheers for joining me. And uh, catch you on Thursday or soon, whatever that may be.